Welcome, everyone, to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I'm your host, the Deathmatch King, the Indie God, always ready, Matt Cardona. And I'm your host, the most professional wrestler, TNA star, and tag team champion of the world, Scotty Pippen of Wrestling Figure Collecting, Brian Myers. What's up? I'm also here, producer of the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And this show is brought to you by our good friends, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MAJOR to save 10%. Our good friends at Ringside Collectibles Look made our good song. friend John Cohen into an action figure. Thank Holy God. More smokes. More on that later in the show. I saw John at the WrestleMania bar. And Bill McKenna was there with it wearing his Indie God replica jacket. Anyway, uh, <laughs> follow, follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Major W Pod. Subscribe to this podcast wherever you get your podcasts and leave a review, not just any review, a major review. If you uh, leave a review and we choose it and read it, you'll get a little prize key. This is a bare minimum Brian review at Joey Hugs. with that? It good. It's Five time stars. to talk. Let's go. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Five stars? Bro. I'm, I'm Five glad stars. You tried to, okay, I'm glad it. you uh, snubbed me with that that uh, introduction of that review. And uh, the giveaway, <sighs> courtesy of Ringside Collectibles. Last week it was the double I take a shot. Defining moments. H B K had to find the pin post on X reposted to be eligible to win. Winner is Brandon C Boyer. You win. And this week, <laughs> no, it's nice. Chelsea. I it, think it's a. Figure of the year candidate right there. It's up there. Uh, I enjoy it. It's my wife. Uh, I have the real thing at home. What's what's that that quote from from Jingle All the Way? I have the real one at home. What's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should film a commercial. Uh, except like the innocent little boy says that in Jingle All the Way. You're a real grown man with cr- creep look in his eye. Just said it. Anyway, big, big uh, difference. <laughs> Find the pin post on X, retweet it to be eligible. Majormarks.com, the fan club, the community, the subscription service, the family. Every week we give away a prize to a new and old Patreon subscriber. Who do we got, Mark? This week, first time in the line, Derek D. Prescott, classic superstar, Nicholas Montez. Damn. Thanks, guys. It is the month of April, which means this is an ultimate gift month if you have been a member all quarter. Also, Hard Foundation and up, you'll get the card. Uh, People have been getting their Dan Housen cards in February. The March card, people have not been getting it, so I don't want to spoil it. But the April card. I just gave it to my brother yesterday, so the signed version. So I I think it's already, by the time you're listening to this on Friday, it could be out. Awesome. The April card we're working on, too. Uh, there's going to be two bonus episodes. One will be on April 15th, the uh, the anniversary of Brian and I getting released, a little Q&A, and we're working on the other bonus for you guys. But other bonuses we have, Silver Liners with Mark, uh, Figure Dice Second with D Freedom, Let Him Breathe with Myself, uh, Oh Baby, He's Happy Hour, and the Captain's Log with Joe Shoes. What's going on in the log this month, and what's going on with Oh Baby, He's Happy Hour? The log, you know what? We haven't discussed it. I don't know. I got okay. no no information there. Mark, have you talked to Heath? We got to pull Heath out of whatever deep, dark depression he's in. And, uh, <laughs> Didn't he? He no-showed WrestleCon. No show. No, WrestleCon. he was never booked. Well, that's, that's, even, that's even worse, I think. Well, there was something fair, that was supposed to happen that didn't shake out, though. I don't, I don't want to blame him for that. Yeah, okay. also, to be fair, we both tried. There was a period of time that me and Heath were begging to share a table. Yeah, and um, they they said literally no. He he like pulled on his charm. He literally said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna try to swim, use my charm." They said, "No, there's not, there's no room," which is why I ended up on Broski's sliver. And sliver. Mark, I I know on day two you slid two eight by tens worth of merch out. I saw it, what you did there. <laughs> The first day I had two, but they were wow. like stacked on top. That's of coming yeah. out of your check, Mark. <laughs> well, Brian, when you left, you should have saw he like took over your whole table. When you oh, left, I bet. I he spread. Le- out. He spread everything out. Oh, yeah. you son of a bitch! Anything else going on, Major? When Marks? Swaggle left, Cabana messaged me like, "Hey, can I share a table with you tomorrow?" Because Cabana was in the hallway with all the not so famous people. Yeah, and uh, I said, "Sure, but you can't bring your normal like flea market, bro." Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> flea market. It's a flea market. It, look, it, it looks so indie. <laughs> it's like whatever's 
been at Pro Archer Tees for the past five years. Orange Cassidy sunglasses. <laughs> Vader, Vader pins, where it's Vader with the Darth Vader mask. <laughs> All you can handle. Yeah. So anything else with majormarks.com, Mark? No, oh, the, ja- the January uh, ultimate prize should be shipping very, very soon, I hope. Yes. Where is it? Well, it's on a, it's on a I guess this is a clue. It is on a, a ship. It's on a ship? Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? It wasn't an easy, like, merch thing that you order. This thing had to be made in a factory. Ooh, All right. It's not a figure, guys. <laughs> Settle your tea kettle, as Natty Nighthard would say. Wait, it's wait, not wait. a figure. Ma- Majormarks.com is the best way to share your love and support of this podcast. I mean, it, there's the Facebook group that is, I believe, you know, has become the backbone of this show. Absolutely. Um, Tommy is right. The the card was spoiled in the vlog. It well, was. Not, yeah, well, then go watch. Really yeah, go yeah. watch the vlog. There's an incentive the to go watch the new vlog. Yeah, there you go. Actually, right, can I just say that uh, real quick before we, uh, since we finished the Patreon, I'm just going to pitch it one more time. Major Pod Clips, guys, we really want to get 1,000 subscribers. Once we have 1,000 subscribers on there, we can turn everything on and it becomes a real business. Um, it's crazy because the last couple of videos that we've put up there have 10,000 views, but we still don't have 1,000 subscribers. So I know some of you assholes aren't clicking subscribe. Because they're so quick. It's you gotta get it fast. You Major click, pod click. clips, guys, please. It would really help us out. Uh we're trying to build a brand in front of Broski's face. That's right, right here, baby. Uh guys, we had a hell of a weekend. It started <laughs> live nineteen, live in Philly, sold out Dave and Busters. Man. It was an incredible show. The fans loved it. We had some incredible guests. I mean, who do we have? We had started the show off Finn Balor, Brian's get. I know Brian. I know you want to say it. It's I your get. Say, I will say this. I was on like a natural high after that show because everything just. I don't know. I felt like it was a great night for us and our fans. You know, just a very fun evening. But in particular, that I was dreaming of that Finn Balor pop. You know, what I mean, I was daydreaming about our fans kicking off the show yeah that song that much of a surprise that i don't don't think anybody could have ever predicted it was just a really really fun way to kick off the weekend yeah we had tommy dreamer with his exclusive bendy we had our trainer mikey whipbreak with one of the best conversations we've ever had at a live show i told him that to his face a lot sometimes there has been situations when people sit down and they start talking heartfelt right first of all a lot of times if you've seen our show we got bits, right? This is right. some comedy. People it's are acting a, crazy. A bit of Something for everybody. Tony Nese is rubbing oil on Joe Shoes' chest. You know, things right. like that happen. Sometimes you get a heartfelt conversation. And sometimes when that happens, people are not paying attention and they're murmuring or whatever. Yeah. But Mikey was so good and talking about such important shit with your career and stuff that everybody was like really listening to what he said. And I thought it was just a great moment. Absolutely. Mikey's the best. We had Macklin revealed his first ever figure. We'll talk about it later. Uh, The Brooklyn Brawler. Well, I thought it was called Cabana, but it was really the Brooklyn Brawler. I thought I was Harvey Whippleman. Very fun segment. (laughs) Uh, Maven, RJ City, SDL, Mance, uh, Ali. Two years in a row, just the MVP of the live show. Oh, yeah. He's just. He is unbelievable. RJ the acclaimed. Is just so funny. Yeah. Am I forget? I feel bad. Are we? Am I forgetting anybody? Did I? Did I miss anybody? There was a I lot of guests. It. There you go. Well, yeah. If I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry. But yeah, there'll be a behind the scenes vlog, and of course, majormarks.com members get to see the show in a couple months, right? Yeah. In a couple months. Yes. Um, the acclaimed segment turned into a mark roast, but I thought it was great, which I, I fun. thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> Rocking with Dan, winning the uh, the VIP. Rocking with Dan, rocking with, rockin with Dan. I still got to give him Dan, a call, which Dan. I'll do tomorrow. Wait, wait, call, call, rock with Dan, Mark. Okay, jeez. Uh, it was uh, a lot of people said it was their favorite <sighs> ever live show, and that's not a bad thing. But it's like, damn, how am I going to top top ever live? 20? It's t- <laughs> it's tough. Like it's it's a, it's extra complimentary, I should say, when it's a new venue like that. Yes, because if it's something we've done, we can. It's much more well oiled machine. When it's a new space like that, it was like you know it's way more hectic and nerve wracking. But also oh, shout out to Dave and Buster's, they were cool as hell about everything. Oh what my a, god, so cool! I did, I like we'd been there, but I didn't realize it's like it's the biggest goddamn Dave Dave Buster's in the world, man. Right? Like, it's, it's so big and nice. And then we didn't even go near like the games and stuff. There's a whole no, other like no. giant area with the games. Like it's pretty crazy on the and, water in Philadelphia. Like pretty cool. And we had so much help. 
uh, at Live 19 and at WrestleCon. I mean, we had Billy Peck, Leo, uh, Herm, Herman, Herman, tucked in. Herm, Herman's tucked wife, in way. Desperado, John Gravina, so, Jay George, so many people helping out. We really appreciate it. It was a hell of a week in WrestleCon, baby. By the man. way, did, did, did Swaggle fall in love with Herm? I, th- I think that they... Uh... I think they started to like each other by then. Herm, Herm He's just said, trying I think- to bang his wife, dude. He's up on <laughs> oh. Come on. Don't be, don't be fooled. Herman said, I think Swaggle hates, used to hate me, but now he, he loves me. So Yeah, he's like, oh, he's got an attractive wife. Hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, special shout out to Leo Sparrow, who lit, like the window that we had to have Finn Balor on that show was pretty tight, and he went, picked Finn straight from appearance in the world. He did our show, and he took him straight back to the hotel for his rehearsal for his match. So, like, I mean, if he wasn't willing to do that, or I don't know what would happen, but... I love that Finn was able to do it because he had the rehearsal, but my good friend, The Miz, was not able to do the show, and he had the rehearsal for the same exact match. Because <laughs> <laughs> Finn and I are actually friends. Yeah, well... Uh, WrestleCon, three days of WrestleCon. We have a whole vlog. I'm not going to waste time talking about WrestleCon, but it was a hell of a WrestleCon. One of the better setups. It was packed. Better set. Packed. Great hotel. Great yeah. everything. I mean, slammed, dude, every day except Sunday, which I think some people slept in were pretty hungover, but they eventually came out. But uh, Sunday was my worst day, but still pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. It start, when I got down there at bro, 9 a.m., bro, it was, it was like bad. I saw tumbleweeds and like. <laughs> The days prior, I'm like pushing past people yeah. to get to my table and stuff. I was like, oh no. But I, I didn't know that, like, you know, people are at WrestleMania to whatever hour in the freezing cold, and people are GCW to three in the morning. Right. Like, there was a lot going on, you know? Well, the night before, Brian, I saw you at the WrestleMania WWE hotel where I was not staying, but I stayed that night because my wife was there. But there was a little Jesse and Festus Major Brother reunion. Who would have thought? Unbelievable. Ray, Ray Gordy, aka Jesse. Who we have not seen in, I think, fifteen years, just about, uh, was a special guest of the WWE and attended WrestleMania. We had no idea, so what a pleasant surprise! Somebody that we spent a lot of our early career with, you know, it was just super cool to reconnect yeah. with him and see him. That's so cool. I, I was walking into that hotel, head down, didn't want to see anybody. <laughs> this is good, and I just hear someone screaming uh, like Brett, 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 and I'm thinking like. Bret Hart, like I, it's not even like tickling my ear, like it's about me, you know. And then I hear majors. I turn, it's fucking Jesse Ray Gordy, Slam Master J himself. Uh, I couldn't believe it because oh he knows me. Is, no one's called me Brett Major oh since two thousand seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, he says. But like, I'm not even trying to ignore him. I don't even think it's about me. Right. G- Gordy's one of those enigmas. Like he. Got fired and never took another booking again. Not a signing, <laughs> not a match. He just quit the business cold turkey. And I commend him for it. Like, yeah. It's unbelievable. Like I don't. Right. I think only other person I know, Chris Cage, K- Kalen Croft. I think he's the only other one that I can right. even reference in that realm. Like that's that's wild to me because as you know, wrestling really consumes you and kind of fucks with your head. And you know, it's wild to me. Yeah, so anyways, I, I spent the night at that hotel, and the next morning I went to WrestleCon, and I was expecting to like see all these marks, and like Brian said, like have to fight through them to get to the elevator. There was not a person in sight. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but it ended up being a good day. Uh, they came gotta, out. They just came out a little late. Yes. I also want to shout out Shea Steaks, Philadelphia. Whew. Best cheese steak I ever had in my life. Herman might be the VIP of the weekend. He found this spot. Bro. And then me, Herman, and... and uh, and Kinnick went the next day, and I was saying for 24 hours, best cheesesteak. Herman, Kinnick, and Broski went, shut the fuck up about this <laughs> cheesesteak. And I'm like, I've been to Philadelphia. I've had a cheesesteak. Rel- relax, guys. Rel- I mean, it was nonstop to the point where I'm like, okay, let's go. The next day, it was the best goddamn cheesesteak I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and it wasn't, the reason that I'm saying that too, I, it wasn't like a traditional cheesesteak i would call it more like a like a gourmet cheese yes a gourmet cheesesteak man unbelievable i missed all that you missed all that if i'm even remotely in the vicinity of philadelphia i'm gonna go get that you got it yeah you got it damn wow so good it was that good. good Uh, we also did some wrestling. I, you know, I finished my story just like Cody did. Congrats to Cody. I defeated Blue Kane. 
Uh, there was uh, a wheelchair spot. There was a fireball spot. A Zack Ryder run-in. And I finished my story and defeated Blue Kane <sighs> at uh, Joe Gell's Spring Break. So what's next for me and GCW? I'm not sure. But we had the the the, the Macho Man Sherry entrance with the, the throne. But thank God we had a rehearsal. Because when they, all the guys put us up on their shoulders, we realized we wouldn't fit through the entranceway. <laughs> You know, that exact thing happened to MJF once at CZW when he did a throne that people carried really? him, but we didn't do a rehearsal. So the boys <laughs> the boys get to the, the entrance, and then he's like hitting his head on it. He's like bending down. Oh, no. Everyone's shaking. Oh, it did not God. come out great. Well, I want to so, thank Big Vin at GCW who figured it out. Blue Pain, uh, by the way. Oh, blue pain. Yeah, come blue on, pain. we don't want to get, get in trouble here. Sorry. And uh, also, that, that wasn't Zack Ryder who ran it. It was Jack Ryder. Jack oh, Ryder. Oh, Jack Ryder. <laughs> Jack Ryder. I also was undefeated this weekend, WrestleMania weekend. Me and my longtime tag team partner, Dylan Postel. Wow. Took over the East City Arena. Dylan started looking like Mini Ivar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I also forced him to do uh, me and Eddie Edwards' finisher just so I could send Eddie the clip. So that was fun. Wait, right, what, cool. what, what is it? Uh, so I do the roster cut, and then the guy feeds for the Boston knee party, the Shining Wizard. Oh, so, I thought you were gonna say like Swaggle was biting his butt, and then you gave him the roster cut. Well, I mean, we did we did that too. It was a Swaggle match, but of course, yeah, we yeah, a lot of fun that'll be in East February. And then Broski missed this because he was dancing with Blue Pain, but uh, a bunch of us went back to the ECW arena, sold out. Oh, my God. For an ECW show that only had ECW originals on it, basically. And, man, was that a fun time. Wow. To watch. Like, I felt like I was at an ECW show. I'm sitting at the crow's nest, drinking, hearing all the old songs and stuff. Wow. Hearing, hearing uh, Deep Purple and the franchise come out with Francine on his arm, Mark. Oh. I saw the picture of that. Woo. Looked awesome. Awesome. Badass. Uh, well, I, was, I was also undefeated. Oh, the, of course. Uh, Ring of yeah. Honor. Wow. What a... What a successful uh, pro wrestling weekend. You know, uh, we're always going to be successful in the man. toy space and the selling gimmick space, but th- to be successful in the ring, guys. Uh, you know, whatever. We we won the match on uh, the Zero Hour, the, the, my new uh, leveled up clients, the premier athletes. But I will say this. This is something cool that I didn't talk about. 2013, I went to Supercard of Honor, and I saw <clears throat> um, – Jay Briscoe win the title. He beat Kevin Steen. Hammerstein Ballroom. Yep. Um, unbelievable match. First time I had ever been to a Ring of Honor show in my life. I was familiar with the people, but, uh, you know, f- kind of. But I, I I really just fell in love with um, that show. And and I've said this a million times. Is Archibald Peck was on the show, and he was the first time I ever saw a comedy wrestle, a re- wrestler. Yeah, and this was the first time that I thought to myself, "Wait a fucking second, I, I, I think I could maybe do this again." <laughs> but then, just the magic of the night, and Jay Briscoe winning the title, Leonard Skinner playing. Yeah, I, I will never forget that. Eleven years later, Supercard of Honor, Mark Briscoe winning the title, Simple Man playing. What a moment! What an awesome thing! Uh, I've said it before. I think everyone's sleeping on the uh, the Ring, Ring of Honor show, uh, Honor Club. It's a great, uh, great value, but uh, great pay per view, great weekend. Hell yeah! And what about Paul Walter Hauser making his Ring of Honor debut, and then he this did. motherfucker tries to start a brawl with me at WrestleCon? You guys didn't even back me up. <laughs> oh man, Mark and I could not be bothered we were like with that. This. Yeah, Mance <laughs> and SDL had to hold me back. I'm like, Thanks let's lot, get, get up by this little fat actor guy like the, that's on him. He should be able to handle himself. <laughs> well, Mark, I don't know if you noticed this. He was wearing a Matt Cardona versus Paul Walter Hauser t-shirt on Ring of Honor. So did I technically make my Ring of Honor <sighs> debut? <laughs> oh. what, what did he do in Ring of Honor? He was one of Dalton's boys. And then he oh. unmasked and revealed oh. himself as Paul Walter Hauser. Oh. It was a pretty funny thing. Well, guys, also at WrestleCon, we had the WrestleCon exclusive Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. And it sold out. Sold it out. Sold out. I and was I was blown away at the traffic at the Big, big Rubber Guys table. Big Rubber weekend. Guys are real, folks. Well, Mark, did you know about the uh, limited edition variant error that we found with the Macho Man with a goatee? You yes. probably can't tell. 
But I, like a psycho, used my own credit card and bought two of them from the table. The two Macho Man Limit, I bought two uh, variants, one to keep and one to sell, of (laughs) course. Here's the difference between me and Ruski. He's going, oh, and spends his money for that. I'm going, oof, I would never want that. It's it's wrong. (laughs) It's like a factory error. Like, who? But there, there was more than one. There was at least, what, 10, 15 or so? Mm, I think like 10 we found. Well. So you might one, have a variant Macho no, Man. No, it's, guys, it's an thing. error. The it's sideburns it's, are not painted. It's, yeah, it's so an error. Got to go to, it's yeah. an error, but I'm going to sell one on whatnot and save one for my personal collection. Uh, and then, of course, the other big rubber guys that we revealed last week, they're up for sale right now. Dusty Rhodes, The Powers of Pain. Uh, Warlord was super pumped with this figure. Uh, Mama Rhodes, super pumped about the Dusty. So very, very cool. The The order closes April 30th. Get your powers of pain. Dusty Rhodes, MajorBendies.com. Big rubber guys. And we went around the floor. We made some, uh, we were wheeling and dealing. Signing some people for 2024 for the big rubber guys. Maybe some big rubber gals. You know what I'm saying? All right. Any other follow-up, guys? I, I do have uh, one quick thing. <clears throat> I talked about this last week, the Upper Deck. Um, they're E-Packs, right? So they finally released the Skybox Metal Universe pack that had my famous error card, Mark Long Sterling. Yes. And I had mentioned that in the E-Pack, if you combine 10 marks, you get a fixed version. But what I didn't sort of understand was you you are actually going to get a physical fixed official upper deck sign a card. real deal a real oh, deal yeah wow so there's a hundred of them ooh and I know that because I am signing one hundred of them yeah oh so baby if you get ten effed up Mark Epac cards and combine them you will get a real fixed official signed Smart Mark Sterling um, that's gonna be a rare long. boy very rare D- Broski. When I get this hundred to sign, do I send back ninety nine and keep the one? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I totally would. Yeah. That's just me though, pal. Right. That's what I would do. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I I put out a video from Upper Deck last week. Um, I said we we won the class action lawsuit. So check that out on my socials nice. again. All right. So is that it for follow up? Nope. I got a Uh-oh. big announcement, folks. A big announcement. What do we well, got this here? Thursday, April eleventh. TNA Wrestling Impact on Access TV. Power Town Wrestling reveals and oh, pre order wow. information dropping in that episode. So check out the episode Access TV, uh, TNA Plus, however, you get your TNA Wrestling and stay tuned to social media because uh, you'll be able to see Power Town Wrestling Wave 1 TNA and no. When and how to get the uh, the pre order kicked off? Damn, big, I've big seen news. some of these already, and they're incredible. I think it's really going to change the game because obviously they're not making as many as um, AEW or WWE. So I think the the attention to detail on each one is going to be really, really there. You know, and we know, and we know Power Down's the real deal. They've got several products. I got. I'm sitting next to some that will be part of weekly Me purchases. Too, Me too, pal. Wow. Too. All right, well, let's go to the news, and the news is brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases, scratch that figure itch, and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world. Of the world. Major PBR forever. All right, guys, Major PBR, proud sponsor of Live in Philly. I came to the uh, the stage with a little PBR, Major PBR. Use the hashtag Major PBR. If we choose your picture or video, you will get a prize. This week's winner, the Nason. Good old Stone Cold knows a thing or two about knocking back some ice cold Major PBR. What? And it's an Austin figure drinking a little PBR can. What? What? 
congrats, pal. You get a little prize. A lot of news, guys. We're going to try to <laughs> rapid fire through it. I was really waiting for that glass to break last night, and then I love that picture surfaces of Stone Cold with a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, news started off a little early last week. Kind of a surprising thing for me. MLW debuting a ring. Just ready to roll. I kind of assumed this was going to happen because they already had the ring. Boss fight had already, you know, had the ring made. Basically, you know, this is just a you know redeco. Not even it's a re sticker. Well, hey, new box. No, it's fair. I mean, it's why if you are, have the assets to sure. do this, you got it. Why not? Yeah, great call. I thought it was weird that that tie is on the back of the box, but I guess they're just showing the old package. You know, the old pictures. Hmm, like, they, 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 yeah. like they didn't even take new pictures. You know. Right. But Taya was Ta- in MLW, so. I what? guess. Was she? she was I the champion. Know that. She was no, the, she was at one point. But she, she was the women's champion. champion. But her figure is not an MLW figure. Her it's figure a boss is a lucha, is a lucha Legends of Lucha Libre figure. Right. But this you know, this ring is cool. It's <sighs> very, very tiny, but it has some cool uh, features like a little storage area. So, I mean, if you were getting the figures and you want to display them, why not get the MLW ring? I get I it. I don't yeah. see any reason not to get it. Yeah, it's, it's very <clears throat> affordable, too, if I'm Oh, yeah, mistaken. 100%. Yeah. Uh, we got a, ooh, Chavo, Chavo Guerrero micro brawler. I dig it. I'm going to have to get that for my collection. A little Sick. We, Guerrero. We, uh, we're drinking with Chavo at the bar, and then we went out to that ECW show. We're out all night, came back, and Chavo was in the same exact spot at the bar. Was his shirt off? <laughs> Shirt's still on. I feel like Shirt's he's, still on. Damn. I feel like he's handling that situation in his, his old age. Well, get your uh, your Chavo micro brawler, or if you want your WCW Chavo with Pepe, Major Bendy, hit up MajorBendys.com. We Hell saw yeah. some new Funkos. We saw uh, a bunch of different Funkos. We saw, this is my favorite one, the Hogan and Outsiders, like when the NWS formed Bash at the Beach. That's cool. Really, really cool. We saw Drew McIntyre and a, I guess it's a WCW, Eddie Guerrero, or LWO shirt. Yeah, it's the first time there, right? Pretty cool. I Listen, I love Funkos. There's also this Undertaker only at Target with the hair down. I mean, listen, Funkos, people say they jumped the shark. Well, I still think they put out great product. And I signed a lot of Zack Ryder Funkos this week. And I saw a lot of people carrying around other Funkos they got signed. It's such a great collectible to get signed. Mm. And I think if you're in on it, you're in on it, right? Yeah. And what if, it's I, your, if it's your thing, it's your thing, you know? And I stole something from Mick Foley where I sign you know, Zach Ryder on the front and then on the side window, I do a little inscription like either Woo 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 You Know It or WrestleMania 32. So it's really cool collectible. But they also had, which I really, really enjoyed, the final boss rock dropped as The Rock was making that appearance. Damn, how do they do that? Has anyone ever done this like accurately? <laughs> like, so many companies have tried. Yeah. Well, but, I, I mean, this isn't like in here. Not this is just a render, so right. Well, right, but it, it's yeah. up for pre-order, I believe. It's, it's still impressive with the WrestleMania box. Uh, what the Rock wore. I love the Rock's outfits where he's like oh, final he, boss. Ro- final well, boss. The rock. rock rules. Let's not be yes. mistaken. But final. Boss Rock has really ruled. Unbelievable. This one, I think if you get the Rock signature on this, which might be hard to get, but it looks really, really nice. Look really, really nice. Uh, Kazarian, he has some new merch. A Slam Buddy. Nice. Hasn't that been out for like months? I don't think so, has it? He just recently posted about it. Uh, I think this has been out for like months. Uh, well, I don't remember ever <laughs> I don't remember ever reporting it on the on the pod, it do you? Literally has the impact logo. Huh. Well, there you go. We'll report another now, pal. <laughs> All right. Well, wait, your... but it's still available. <laughs> still available. And Get your Kazarian, definitely uh, at TNA Live somebody. events, too. They have the merch. That's cool. Hastel Toys showed off Al Snow. Oh, I actually haven't seen this. I think this looks way better than the uh, the cello one. Right. So, and I, I, I guess because so many people made customs out of the Mr. Perfect that it's like yes. I have no problem with it looking like a Mr. Perfect, right? And the head looks good. The hair looks way better than that cello or Epic Toys one. Yeah. Uh, I, I will be getting this. People have been getting their Carlitos in hand, but I, I'll discuss that when I get mine and I really... Uh, Our man Herm was really excited about that Carlito. Herm the Worm. He also showed off the French uh, Canadians, the Rougeau brothers, looking good. I like. I really soft like to see... Soft good capes. Soft good capes. Um, these are guys I'd love to see the big rubber guys line. 
Same. So, you know, Hassel Torrey's been doing his work. For all American boys. I saw I saw Henry Godwin, the good old H O G, and I saw he was selling his uh his uh gizmos and gadgets one. He was, I didn't realize that. I talked to him too. Yeah, and then I talked to him about the uh the the zombie one and we both agreed zombie one way better. <laughs> <laughs> We both agreed. You want to talk about some some zombie reveals now? Is that possible? Oh, we, yeah. oh. I was so proud of him. He had uh, the table at WrestleCon, which he two had tables. To do. Two Tommy tables, Sapienza man. helping out. Yeah, but Kill I mean, look at these right now: two Cold Scorpio, Masada Tanaka, Henry Godwin, Sandman, Francine, and the franchise Shane Douglas. I mean, I believe these are coming in twenty thirty five, but <laughs> 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 they look. Uh, the Henry Godwin, it's unreal. They're cool, yeah. Like, so, so detailed. He had a lot of cool stuff on display. He had other stuff on display. Like, for instance... Dude, the, these, this, I held a lot of these. These not, are finished. These are finished. Yeah, sample pieces of the actual... Like, the flare. Oh, my God, unbelievable. Oh the flare. I'm at Johnson. looking at these. Oh, Kushi blew my mind. Like, yes. Those tattoos in person. Power so of Glory, cool. the the Matt Cardona bloody one that matches almost three years old. Hopefully, it's coming soon. The Johnny Gargano, um, he had so much cool stuff on display. He even put, up, you see the Macho Man he put out finally one day. He put it that that uh, that Macho Man figure. Oh my God, I'm seeing this right. I didn't even see this. The the Mike Awesome, the Aldo Montoya, the Chris Candido. So. The yeah, Aldo Montoya looks. I think my only gripe is there's just too many guys with just their hands at their sides. I would like more Hasbro E. Like, give me a body slam pose in some of these guys, you know what I mean, or something, even though they're not going to do the action. I don't want the action, but you know what I mean? Make them feel more like that. Nah, I guess I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they look really and good to I'm me. I'm that- assuming he's finally reused the parts because I'm assuming that Aldo and uh, Two Cold are the same. Yeah. I, I love that the Sandman looks great. We saw a lot of Sandman figures. We'll talk about more Sandman figures this weekend, but so, so good. Uh, I just don't know when these are finally going to come out, but what about the uh, La CM Punk, which he put up back for pre-order, the the Macho Man, the WrestleMania 7, and then the Six Inchers, King Kong Bundy, Brian Pillman, Double J, Jeff Jarrett, and Abdullah the Butcher. They look fucking fantastic. It's just, when are they coming out? You know, I feel like he showed thing. this to us two years ago. So yeah, I mean, that's just me and you because we're on the inside a little bit. But and we know how particular I'm still, he I'm is. I'm still going to be a completist, and I want them. They look yeah. incredible. But they look so so good, especially come, that come. double J. The the Bundy looks great. The Abdullah, the Brian Pillman, Zombie does everything top notch. He might be slow as shit, but when it comes, it comes, and the the product is fantastic when it actually comes out. So. uh and I love have, what he's doing. Uh, some stuff in weekly purchases here. Mm. Very cool. I'm, I'm holding on to him right now. And I, was, I didn't mention that. Uh, we ha- we haven't done major mark purchases of the week in a couple weeks. And Collapsible seg. The support uh, from the fans and stuff with my heels and faces figure, I really appreciate it. <clears throat> a lot of people coming up to me at Resocon saying how much uh, they loved it and all that. So Zombie's doing there, a great job. There are also some WrestleMania Foco bobbleheads. Of of Seth Rollins, Whoa. of Roman Reigns, of Cody Rhodes, one out of one forty four. Cody one's so, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd want Seth in like a green suit holding the microphone, but it's still cool. Roman Not looks bad. like my barber in New York. <laughs> well, great, great figures. I love what Torco does. They put out stuff constantly, so that's cool. What about some some new major bendies? We had one in stock at Lo- Live nineteen. It was the Tommy Dreamer. It is now available at MajorBendies.com. This is a sold out this weekend, by the way. It's this, sold the, out. We had yes. with us right. at, you know, at the live shows. And at WrestleCon, but yeah, it is available Con. now. MajorBendies.com. A little throwback to the uh, the yellow original San Francisco Toy Makers gear. It's a funny wink and a nod, and he told us a great story about that figure yes. at the live show, and we're in Philly. It all just felt so right. You have to have to pick that up now, majorbennies.com. And coming soon, the first ever Steve Macklin uh, it is coming in May. There'll be three figures up for pre-order in May, and one of them will be Steve Macklin. He was a, uh, he's a friend of the show. He was a guest at Live 19, so it was cool to show him his first ever figure. He's got the uh, front-toward enemy jacket, the face paint, tag him, bag him. Very toyetic. 
All right, and guys, let's go to the main event. WWE at the World showed off a ton, a ton of new product. I'm going to let Mark and D navigate this, and we'll just kind of talk about it. It was so much. It's so much that I don't know if I've seen it all. Bro, same thing. <laughs> there might be some in here where I go, oh. And they were putting out stuff at the World today three, on Monday. Every today. day, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Whew. I, to be totally honest, <clears throat> have barely paid attention to any of this, and I want to be surprised right here. Oh, all right. <laughs> so let's let's just go through the uh, the Ringside Collectibles Instagram. Let's start with this John Cena right here. So uh, <laughs> this is a John Cena. Is it an elite? Is it an ultimate? I can't quite tell. That looks like an elite. No, it looks yeah. Like- this is uh, part of the. This is a part of the main event display. Uh, so this is part of main event series uh, one forty eight. So this is currently available for pre order on ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code major to save ten percent. And uh, so this, I is believe, a, this is a basic essentially. This yeah, looks this great. Is basic, this is main yeah. event. So yeah, this, this is just like a funny tongue in cheek. This will have meme. a stand- this will have a standard release, so this is, I believe, the Chase release at the time of this recording. Uh, potentially, this, uh, if you're not watching, he, he's see-through. That's the joke, right? Or is this yes. translucent? Translucent. I, I, I'm shocked we haven't gotten this sooner, to be honest. True. Has right? uh, red shirt, red wristbands, red baseball cap. The standard version is pictured off to the far left. That will be, I believe, in this uh, carousel. So, all right. So let's see what else is in that carousel, Mark. We got a little Hogan. Python power. More Hogan's, bro. What's uh, this? Is a basic. This is a main event. I'm care. all for it. I've reached my quota. That could have been somebody else. Um, I'm, you're not buying basics anyway, so who cares? But, uh, the Hogan was a part of uh, main event series 148. That is also available for pre order. All right. And here we have a. This is, uh, yeah, this is the main event showdown, Jey Uso. That is available with Roman Reigns. I believe uh, main event showdown series 13, 17 is available right now on Ringside Collectibles, as well as the main event showdown series 17, Austin Theory. That comes with John Cena. Very cool. This is the standard release of the John Cena in the green. Oh, wow. So it's very different than the Chase. That's cool. Totally different figure. Wow. Really, really cool. Has the, the neon green shirt, hat, wristbands. Obviously, his regular skin, not translucent skin. <laughs> and uh, Katana Chance, and I'm not quite sure of their name. Uh, K- believe- Casey and Lacey? I know they're NXT names. I don't know their WWE Yeah, names. I know Lacey Lane. I, I think it's Caden Carter now. Yeah. Okay. So they look good. Oh, she is in. She's in 148, uh, Caden Carter, and series uh, 147, the prior wave, is uh, Katana Chance, a.k.a. That's cool, and they tag Kisa and Gettin they match. So. Yeah, Makes metallic, sense. Nice cool metallic incentive. green. This is the Rey Mysterio that is included with uh, Gunther. This is uh, part of Main Event Showdown Series 17, so uh, this is also available for Predator right now. So, Looks good for me. You know, I mean, Ray is Ray. This yeah. is... Uh, already been shown and i think this is already pinning store shelves this is uh in the two-pack main event well prior championship showdown uh live morgan that uh was included with uh, ronda rousey so oh okay not sure we're gonna get any more ronda rousey figures <laughs> i don't think so pal this, this is, is the a- this is the uh main event showdown i think 147 uh million dollar man so is some it, of this, this is the, uh, this the chase green one as opposed to the one with the uh million dollar corporation or was it money inc outfit yeah, the Money Inc. one is probably going to be pictured here. It's it's in the top, but uh, yeah, those are uh, ones. One forty seven is also available for pre order. This is what is series one forty eight. Hot Rod Roddy Piper, Roddy Roddy Piper. Uh, this actually has the They Live uh, head that was uh, first used on the Hollywood figure. So oh, okay, it's like a ninety one ish Piper. Yeah, right. 90, Looks good. I was going to say but, uh, 90, 91 Piper. No kilt unless it's shown later or included later. Nah, it, it, I it, can't it, see it, that more, coming with a basic. Yeah, that could be included. Yeah. I dig it though. I'm, I'm passing on it, but I like it. What else we got, Mark? We got this is uh, Ripley. Yeah, this is Championship Showdown or Main Event Showdown Series uh, 18. So this will be the uh, fall release, and this is uh, packaged with Dominic Mysterio, who will be uh, he's on display here somewhere. But uh, I'm not sure what slide. But uh, yeah, it has the "I'm Your Mommy" shirt, and I believe the Dominic Mysterio has a matching. This is our. Uh, this is Kevin Owens. Uh, I believe this is already out. I think this is. Uh, part of one of the main event shows or something, but this one's already out. So yeah, there was uh, some product. I mean, once again, just taking pictures of uh, random photos and stuff. So yeah, this is one's already out. I believe this cane may be a part of top picks along with the Rey Mysterio that's pictured above it. Uh, there is also a Randy Orton 
that uh, I don't think was actually photographed. Uh, basic, so that one, basic top picks or elite top? Picks? Yes, yes. This basic is this, this, these are main event top wow. picks. Yeah. So I, I Damn, think these cool. may be if these aren't a part of top picks, then they are in uh, another wave. But uh, if if anything, one fifty one. But uh, yeah. So I believe these the uh, because these are all ones that have been redone. So like the Rey Mysterio, he was that one will be pictured later. But I think that one came in a two pack with uh, Rob Van Dam back in the back, back during the Battle Pack days, and I believe this is a re release. Or carry forward a, a refresh of the uh, cane that uh, the double sleeve cane that I think came out in like series. It was the one. It's like series seventy four, series seventy five, like around the uh, twenty seventeen or so. Uh, wow. These are all these are all brand new. Uh, well, they, these are currently available pre order, but none of these are actually like like new products. So this is all stuff that's been shown before. Is the so. Imperium? Uh, yeah, Imperium Animate series. Look, look that you can do the, like how far basically a company you can do that pose with them. I know, That's right? Just that true. alone is like game changing, right? I absolutely yeah. love that. That's cool. What else GCW, we have, Mark? GCW uh, alumni here? This Shayna Baylor, Baszler's already out, I believe. Uh, this is either like 146, 145. Not 100% certain, but yeah. This new Sheamus, this is a new Sheamus. This uh, is a part of main event uh, series 149. Is that a so, carrying cross as well? Yeah, that Karen Cross is already uh, on store shelves right now. Karen so Cross, that motherfucker, keeps growing his hair longer and longer and longer. That piece just of to shit. shove it in your face, pal. And then WrestleMania with that wind blowing, I want to fucking kill him. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. This is the Dominic I was referring to. I think he has uh, "She's My Mommy" shirt like that, something like That's that. Cool. Yeah. So I believe like, like, they like kind of got that on yeah. a kid's product like that. You can barely see it, but there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it, the, it was a hard, hard, hard to get angle. This is uh, Seth Rollins. I believe this is the one that is uh, included with a Braun Breaker in Main Event Showdown Series 18. The Braun Breaker will be uh, pictured later. That's, that's a, a lot that's of echo hits that, for that's a, a basic. That, that's a weird two pack, Braun Breaker and Seth, huh? They they fought on NXT for the uh, for the championship, I believe. Yeah, this oh, is the okay. Braun, this is the corresponding Braun Breaker. But uh, uh, on later days, they removed the uh, the World Heavyweight Championship. So yeah, it didn't make sense, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. I'm, Probably eventually, I'm actually surprised yet. the Mattel guys would let that slip. So yeah, that's uh, it for the yeah. So Brown Breaker, he is included with the uh, Seth Rollins in main event showdown series eighteen. I believe uh, that will be uh, available for order in the uh, upcoming weeks. There's another Gunther little Kaiser. Yeah. There, there's the uh, the Money Inc. Million Dollar Man. This basic. is the yeah. This is the Gunther that uh, corresponds with that Rey Mysterio that was previously shown. So got it. And that's available for order right now on Ringside Collectibles. All right. What else we got? There's, you know, same pictures of Ultimate War, the Million Dollar Man. We got this Austin new, there. This, this is a new Austin. This, I believe, is a part of Main Event Showdown series or Main Event uh, series, the mainline. Um, this is a part of series 150. So, yeah, it got we, the. We, uh, we just need to say this is an Austin with some white knee braces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, two man, it, two man does, power trip. It Austin. does have the uh, one of the ultimate edition uh, portraits on the head. I, I believe that is the uh, laughing portrait potentially, and uh, the white knee races. I believe were last released on main event uh, basic series uh, one hundred. So let's I think not waste was, too much time on these basics. Let's just yeah. let's rapid fire. We got a, we got a mankind basic next. What else we got? Here? That's, a, that, that's a part of main event showdown series. More eight, cane eight basics. This is uh, this cane's already out. I believe this or it's available for right now or unless it's sold out. So. Hitting stores near you. Is that, that Cody in a hoodie? What, what, yeah, what yeah, is this? Cody. I saw this. Cody. What is this Cody like? Training Cody? Yeah. So uh, main event, uh, main event series uh, for the main line, uh, at least the basic assortment. They uh, try to uh, incorporate um, a more different, uh, more different avenues a part of the content. So the backstage portions, the uh, I don't the, mind the, that. I don't, that's cool play. for your fig so, fed. Sure. Yeah, but yeah, you always wear a suit. You need, like you, need, you need stuff like this. Jacks did, did this all the time. Wear this, uh, um, yeah, Jacks did this all the time. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, uh, this cost is training QT Marshall at the, the, the Nightmare Factory code. Yeah. yeah. And it has, uh, I believe, uh, something about the kingdom on the back. So, And there's the Rey Mysterio I talked about. Mention, uh, and then the Rock uh, up at the top that I believe uh, is in a uh, two pack, uh, a part of series. 18 uh with main event showdown so that's a new a, a rollins with the uh the rib tape that's cool roman that, Reigns. That, that, title. that's a part of 147 so a lot of these products available right now on ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com use discount code major to save 10 percent. now this was unbelievable this these was very are, exciting this is the stuff i want to talk about this is the dudleys we knew these were coming soon uh ecw dudleys which i'm Popping for it. I'm, I'm mm. glad we're getting these first. Which could be debuted at these two. Yes. Though. Yeah. Okay. I think, 
primarily, I think those were the one reference shots that were used. So I think this probably more likely corresponds with uh, WWF. Okay, well, these will be a Mattel yep. Creations exclusive, which kind of shocked me. Yes, Whoa, this will be. really? Yes. Yes. So these and Headbangers will be Mattel Creations exclusives. So oh, these uh, these are a part of the new uh, launch of Elite 2 Packs across uh, MattelCreations.com. And the uh, the first ones will be uh, Imperium. Those include uh, soft goods shirts and I believe uh, another soft goods accessory that has not been announced yet. But uh, then the uh, next um, the next uh, line of characters that will be coming out is the headbangers, <sighs> and then the final one is uh, some early samples, at least pictured there, of the uh, oh, the- he- headbangers look awesome, awesome bro. And, and this this is what we talked about months ago. How are they going to do it? Soft goods, soft goods, and that's what we got. We got soft goods shirt, soft goods uh, skirts. But I dig it. It's fine. It's I don't, perfect. I don't mind. I, I don't mind it like I thought I might, but I think it's pretty cool. I just love I just love that look. I'm so happy for these guys too on a personal level. Even bully that son of a bitch. I'm happy that he finally, you know, signed on the dotted line. He's gonna right, get a premium yeah, item. But these that, these that headbangers are probably so got hungry. him a little WrestleMania moment. I know, it probably did. Yeah. I hope we get a, a referee bully raid, yeah. a brings that exclusive <laughs> down the line. But these headbangers look awesome. Uh, I love. I even love like the gray elbow pads on Thrasher. Yeah, yeah. man, yeah. the real men wear skirts, shirt. I, I want to see what kind of underwear they're wearing underneath. You yeah, know that, 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 that probably better did be unique, unique about, boxers. Yeah. It better be. Let's yeah, see. they do have. Just, they do just have like uniquely, the uh, bone crunchers. They do have uniquely colored elbow pads. They do have uniquely cut skirts, and uh, the socks are different. So, love really it. nicely done. Then we have the LWO five pack that um, you know was a Mattel Creation exclusive coming very very soon. I feel at this point you can do another five pack with how many goddamn members are in that thing, you know? Yeah, holy cow! But oh my god! But they look good, you know. Great great way to get these people in the line, and I I love this Mattel uh, Creations exclusive. You know this new way to get people into the line. These. I popped huge for. We kind of hope they were coming because they're in the Survivor Series line. It's the Bushwhackers back as elite figures with interchangeable alternate heads as them as Doink. For me, absolute must-gets. I want to hear Brian's opinion. I I, I don't think I can display that like the, the Doink heads. I, I, I love it. And it's fun, but it's too down the uh, I, rabbit hole for me. I'm doing it 100%. I'm more interested to see what they look like with the regular heads and if it's an upgrade from, or maybe, to me, maybe I can even count the older, very old now at this point, yes. Mattel Elite Bushwhackers as like 80s book Bushwhackers and this could be my 90s Bushwhackers. Mm, but you got to keep, not the, gonna gotta keep the head. With, no, you got to do the heads, dude. Yeah, maybe. I, don't I mean, know. technically, you are right, Brian. the The Legends <laughs> two pack is based off of uh eighty eight, eighty nine Bushwhackers, whereas yeah, this is ninety three. But the, Trump- pr- the only a little bit of room. He's got what do you have? Like two years left on that shelf. You can't be putting clown Bushwhackers in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm putting clown Bushwhackers in. Mark my fucking words. Yeah, I really buy, don't, I buy two just, sets. Buy two sets. I can just get rid of uh, my friends and family shelf. I have room forever. So. Sammy Zane in the uh, honorary ooh shirt. We could skip that. What else we got here? Now, when did Kevin Owens wear this dusty shirt? I'm not quite. This was a street fight, I believe. I, I I'm not sure if this uh, corresponds with the same uh, Survivor Series match. I think this may be a 2022 or 2023, whichever year we're. Yeah, 2022 Survivor Series. So I I believe maybe this pairs with the Sammy Zane. <sighs> uh, okay, that's cool. So uh, based off yeah, the I game, no, I I definitely didn't see when he wore that because I feel like I would have remembered this. this was rocking my world this yeah, smackdown was... four pack uh this is cena eddie guerrero from that that parking lot brawl that infamous brawl to me i have to get these i don't know what you're gonna say brian i i'm in on this because i yeah. love this match also come on the the adrenaline two pack from jacks yes. is the same so and the, the 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 supermarket booker t in austin like how do you not this this, this is yeah i'm in on this Ugh. i'm fucking it but I'm fucking in, bro. I'm fucking in. Brian, I see you. Like, I'm on the fence with this one. This what? Because it's like, how do you really, without like a supermarket, how do you really, <laughs> you know, Yeah, now, what now, this is. now that you say that, Brian, well, you have to buy all four anyway because it's a four pack. Which I'm going to do anyway, but I'll have to. But you're right. Yeah, you know what? Out. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I do cut these from the display. Yeah. Because there's already other Austins that I want to. Get the more this. iconic looks, and then yeah. Booker like just looks like a Booker walking around. If you don't know that it's right, the whole right. bit. 
Right. I understand. Well, I do think milk. some people. He's got to stand next to the. There's some talented the people milk. out there that will make some badass fig photography and shit like yes. that when he's It's a out fun sure. fucking pack. Right. Yeah, so this, this is, is awesome. uh, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of SmackDown, available uh, for pre-order right now exclusively at Target and Target.com. So this will be more than likely available in stores as well later this fall. What or else we got? Oh, this is is this the Imperium? Are these the shirts that we will get in yes, the uh, Hotel Creations yes. Imperium? So you got to assume the, uh, get t-shirts and their entrance gear. That's what I would assume. Yeah, and now the uh, torsos and heads are on the correct bodies. So Awesome. So yeah, there's the Kaiser and the... Um, yeah, the Imperium shirts. All right, here, better look at the the Billy Graham and the Harley race. Those I'll be gets. getting these. Still, you know, fascinated by these these championships, the the Gorilla Monsoon, the, oh, my God, Muhammad Ali. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a, all in on these. This is the uh, Legends of the Territory era uh, four-pack available exclusively through MattelCreations.com. So that'll be available uh, later this year. So, so th- this Trish Stratus, is this her return, Trish Stratus? Yes, this is uh, 2023, 2022, whichever yeah, okay, year so she like, I didn't even so, see yeah. that this weekend. This, okay. this a it pair looks nice great. Thing. I'll be skipping it, but it looks great. You know you know my rule, only only legends. Uh, these, let's talk Brother. about these Sandmans, yeah, bro. So this, let's go. I believe this slide primarily consists of uh, Elite Collection Series uh, 111. So if you're wanting to know uh, which uh, wave this is, this is uh, Series 111. So I'm the digging trend. the Sandman. He's got the barbed wire. He's got the beer cans, the Singapore let's cane. Go. The, the white ECW shirt, apparently they were not allowed to do the Sandman t-shirt. So I'm fine with this one. I'm yep. fine with this plain ECW shirt. The face, not... In love with it, but hey, we're getting Sandman, so beggars can't be choosers, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I can't complain. Not I can, excellent. I can, I can visualize the studio right now because I mean, yeah, I think. But it's, it's just—it's it's it's a younger. You got to remember, this is a much. I was much just going to say that the, than the guy Freeman we saw all weekend. I'm used to is the guy at Creative Pro. Yeah, <laughs> I, right. I also yeah. love that he's getting the chase in like the red, white, and blue singlet oh, top. That's the best. That's I I love a lot of these. Uh, you know, whether you call them two and one or these chases that you see them back there. But look at that ricochet right there. Looks great, very toyetic. Yeah, so he, Ricochet, good. he's a, he's a part of uh, Series uh, 111 as well, and uh, this is based off, I believe, his SummerSlam match with uh, Logan Paul, I believe, so very nicely done, and uh, this is to- Tony D'Angelo, uh, big uh, rising star on the, the NXT roster, so... A little soft uh, goods jacket. Yep. Very cool. And he also has a soft goods uh, tank top as well underneath. Ah, double soft I love goods. the Santa bread. There's the Sandman right yeah, there. Really sweet, too. The, uh, the red... The angle of the face looks actually better. And I also think that one you can wear the soft good shirt too and still be a look. So I wonder like how okay, we always know this with the target exclusives, that like if it's a two and one or it's like a chase that's it's really gonna come with everything. That's it's gonna come saying. with everything. So it's gonna yeah. look weird mid on card, but I think when you take everything off and you strip it down, yeah. it's gonna look really cool. So Brian, you're definitely getting both Sandmans, correct? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, and I gotta I get, get him to sign one. I don't know if I'm in love with. I, I love the fact that they're making the USA one. I just don't know if I need that in my collection. I'm that might sure. be the one that's more. I don't know. They're both pretty. They're both really cool. They're both both pretty uh, significant. I would say. I'm gonna make my decision. Or like he, they're the same era and he wore them equally. I would say. Right. So it's like you know you just choose. We got the the Judgment Day. We got the new World Champion David Priest. New Finn Balor. He has the. Uh, we talked about on our live show what that meaning is and the, the drawing on his shoulder. Seven, Dominic Mysterio. It was, it was seven years from when he faced Seth or yes. around to forfeit the belt. Or. Uh, Rhea Ripley with the title. Judgment Day. You know the the, the Jailbird Dom is so funny. so good. It's great. Right? Yeah, very good. Finn was very uh, excited about this figure because it was so different from his other ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, actually, they I look... do think it makes his like sort of just normal like trunks Finn right. figure like really good. Yep. Yeah, these all look fantastic. Yeah, Judgment Finn Day, and the hottest uh, act in WWE right now. Damian Priest and uh, Dominic, they're part of Series 109. That's available for pre-order right now. And the uh, uh, Rhea Ripley, she's part of Series 110. And the Finn Balor, he's a part of uh, Series 111. So nice. 109 and I believe 110 are both available for pre-order right now on Rayside Collectibles. We got a Bailey doing the it's, double thumbs I mean, down. That looks good. The, Series 109. I haven't had like a really updated Bailey in a long time like this, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's been <clears> quite a bit <throat> since he's had uh, an elite execution, yeah. Yeah. We got another Cody Rhodes right there, and you know, typical red, white, and blue stuff. I believe that might be uh, Rumble Cody potentially. I don't know if it's oh, this year's Rumble, yeah. but I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I know that's his newer pair of tights. Because the ultimate that just came out is last year Mania Cody, right? Yeah. So yeah. 
This popped me. I got to get it. The low rider with uh, Rey Mysterio. Yes, this you is the gotta Lucha. get the low rider. Yeah, That's this cool. is the Lucha Lou, uh, Lo, uh, Lucha low rider, and uh, this will be available later this fall. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's uh, is, it, is this a reckon a reckon? Uh, yeah, I believe it is a part of the Reckon segment. Um, I, I do believe. I don't know if it te- necessarily disconnects. I mean, uh, there there were glamour shots uh, later on uh, on the feet, but uh, you can like catapult the figure off of the uh, off the. That's, off that's the, fun. Off the that's really fun. Yeah, and obviously you can extend both wheels up and just yeah, the sculpting that went into this. I uh, spoke with the designer there, John, um, and uh, yeah, did a great job on uh, on this stuff. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably pick the that formats, up. All the stuff, great stuff. L.A. Knight, that's cool. That looks like the one that's out right now yeah, currently. Out, yep. yeah. We got the Usos, the the a Rock. Yeah, that's so all So much cool currently. stuff. The, uh, the Maya Via Family 3-pack, which I'm looking for. If anyone's Ooh, got I got it. Weekly sale. purchases. You got Ali in the background right there. What else yep. we got, Mark? That was available for sale as well at the Superstore, the uh, Muhammad Ali. So a lot of Muhammad Ali products, great uh, line of uh, products, and uh, great performance on those products. This the upcoming is the, uh, ringside outsiders look fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Tag, tag team two this. pack. Tag team uh, two pack. Great. I don't know which ones to, to keep now. There's so many options. I know, but that all. Is so I think perfect. I think the other Nash in the red you got to cut because it's inaccurate. It has the yeah, wrong hair color anyway. Yeah. I cut that one already. So the Nash that I have for the Outsiders was that was the Legends, I believe, with the uh, bandana. Yeah, yeah. there's so I many. Think, good I think, oh yeah, that that's '98 Hall. This is '96. So this, this is definitive Hall Technic- Nash Outsiders. Technically, technically, the Elite Collection Series 16 Kevin Nash that is about 1999 Kevin Nash or so because that has black wrist tape and it has the blonder hair, whereas this has the brown hair and white wrist tape and it actually has the nice elbow pad. I mean, great looking stuff and uh, has NWO on the back. Scott Hall has uh, Outsiders across the back of the uh, figure as well. So basically, yeah, they they're uh, fantastic. ultimate executions of uh, previously released figures. But yeah, definitely the definitive, at least at this time, uh, definitive WCW Kevin Nash and uh, uh, Scott Hall. And those are those are going to be in stock very very soon from Ringside Collectibles. There's the Eddie Guerrero WCW uh, Ultimate with the the cruiserweight title. Looks great. Nope. Must have. Yeah, Must have for favorite. sure. The two different heads. The Mankind. Even though the soft goods, I'm not in love with. I'm still going to get torn it. On it but I'm going to I'm going to get it and see what I think. Yeah, I like the the alternate heads. I love this Monday Night Wars DDP in the jeans doing the diamond for cutter. This figure for how long have we been asking for this figure? I've been saying it forever. Oh, uh, there's the the chase where he's in the lighter blue at, with the the you know the wrist tape. Oh, uh, rip tape. I'm sorry, the rip DDT. tape. I'm sorry. Yeah, that DDP. to me the lighter jeans is the one I want. No, oh. I th- I think you got to go lighter jeans with the tape and the dark blue with no tape. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Lighter jeans with the tape. Tape. Right, like how it's displayed right there. You go darker jeans, no tape. Oh, yeah. Lighter jeans, tape. 100%. Yeah. I think you got to get both, though. Yep. I don't know about that. But did but... you see that, that other Commissioner Michaels back there? Is that oh, a yeah. build of. Yeah, uh, no, he is a part of the uh, of the He's uh, straight uh, part of the yep. line. Yeah, and I, it uh, includes uh, turtleneck this time instead of the uh, uh, other, like, suit and. Yeah, just the. Did, uh, did the other one come with a cowboy hat? Yeah, yep. it did. Yeah. Man, I might keep the yellow one and not this one. Yeah, though, I don't see like much reason. If you have, that's a rare figure too. So I don't. If I don't, and it's pretty different. So. I do, I do, I do appreciate that it's a different figure, but I don't think I need this one. I like the yellow one better. It kind of goes more with the classic super. No, sorry, this one, the, uh, this one, I do grunger. believe has a uh, brand new head. I believe it has sculpted earrings on, and the ponytail is nicely sculpted. Whereas the other build a figure, Commissioner Michaels, is technically, I believe, uh, probably like a two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Shawn Michaels head. Yeah, so. we'll we'll see when yeah. I get it. But the other one reminds me of that Superstar Series Eight. So I need to, uh, and that Austin. Well, I need to, that's the, that's a stunning McMahon Austin. Yeah, September ninety seven MSG. I was there. And they really nailed the uh, Daisy Dukes. Oh. Like, that's a different mold. There. Right. I gotta get that. And there's a, a big boss man back there. I guess we're getting a new corporate yeah, see, big boss part- man. Yep, he's a part of the same wave as this, so I believe this is uh, going to be uh, either wave four or wave five. I'm not 100% sure which uh, one they're on They're right going now. all in with this wave. Like yep. You knew there's someone's like, fuck, I can't believe you motherfuckers didn't back that Nitro stage, you know what I'm saying? Right. This is Ultimate Edition Series, or Wave, uh, 22 J Uso, and uh, this is based off, I believe, his SummerSlam match with Roman. Oh, that's uh, good. Did mistakenly put uh, two uh, heads there on display. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the same right. head for sure. Yes. Uh, and I don't know if we skipped it on the that last slide, but there's if you look in the back, there was a WCW Kurt Hennig. 
Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll see I a better believe, picture later on. Yeah, I, I believe so. But yeah, that's uh, I believe is in a future wave. I don't think it's in the same wave. I'm not sure which one it's was another the another figure, figure we've been asking for yes. for a long time. Ultimate Gunther, he looks good. I feel like yes. there's just there's so many ultimates, which I guess is great. But I'm so glad I tapped out because there's I couldn't it's keep just up. Just got too big. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great, but yeah, it's just you, to be a completist is very difficult. Here's another <laughs> Cena. Never give yeah. up in the in the baby blue and the the orange yeah, like looks a good. Real modern day Cena. Yeah. Looks pretty yeah. modern to me. Longer yeah, hair, new hair. Yeah, he's got the longer hair. Yeah. So the uh, the Cena and the Gunther, they and the Jey Uso, they're all a part of Wave Twenty Two. This is the Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive fan takeover. Seth Rollins, this is what went won the poll. So this is I it's believe very Pat, very Ultimate like. I'll Cla- say that. Clash of the Castle, his Elton and John inspired gear. So looks great. Crazy. Just one I'll definitely be skipping, but certainly very. I was really, uh, really into putting gray in people's beards, huh? I guess so, huh? Like Seth just had a little bit. The Jay Uso always has a ton. Is this this now? This is the current Cody that's out right now. Yes, this yeah. is the Ultimate Edition Wave Twenty One. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Then with the Sammys Same and the Kevins, these. we'll talk about those later in the show. What's the next thing on the uh, the slides, Mark? There's got to be something new here. Look at that yes. American Dream, if you will. Awesome. I'm, Ultimate. I can't wait Dusty to see this. Like when it's ready. I cannot wait. You know, it's the test shots, all the different colors, but he's got the, the hat. He's got the nightstick, the different heads. This is going to be a fucking great figure, 100%. That is uh, part of the Ultimate Edition Legends uh, uh, segment that is exclusive to Target. And the uh, Dusty Roads, uh, we may go through them, but uh, on the color renders, and uh, it was spied by Bill that it will have a brand new torso with a pronounced raised uh, birthmark. So, oh, wow. That's crazy. A raised birthmark. Yep. So my favorite stuff, the superstars. We see some new figures of Tatanka, Big Boss Man, Kurt Angle, uh, you know, Brutus Beefcake. We'll we'll definitely hit on the other ones later in the show. But the the Brutus and the Razor Ramon look awesome. Later on in the the weekend, they showed even more color, uh, you know, prototypes of them. Uh, this is my my favorite line. I know Bryant's tapped out, but I absolutely I, I love that great. style. I just yeah, not, can't collect everything. <laughs> So we got some some retros were on display, and you know we we saw a couple of weeks ago the the Isaac Yankum, the Luger, the Shawn Michaels, the Alundra Blaze, uh, those were on display as well as a new brother love. That one's sweet. So I'm, I'm glad we're big. Getting, the microphone's a bit big. <laughs> accessories are all the same yeah. as the elite. Yeah, yeah. the ex- <laughs> accessories a little big, but I'm glad we're getting a brother love. Um, he fits the line now, for sure. This uh, they, it was stated in uh, Bill's interview uh, with Ringside that the Brother Love will not be in the next wave. He will have a uh, special release, but I'm not sure if there's other characters that will uh, be in the same wave as that. And then if you look beside the Wendy Richter, I'm not sure if it's in uh, these photographs, but there was something else that was pictured yeah, on the, the, the pedestal. The, the championship title. So they will be making a um, basically oh, wow. uh, a wing very, eagle. Yeah. I didn't even notice. It. I'm all in on this line, baby. The retros were on ice, but now they're back, Jack. I'm a big supporter of the line. Uh, I don't. It, D, was there a reason why they previously showed off like the Alundra Blaze set and didn't wait for the world? Uh, I, I mean, they wanted to have something to show off for the Mattel uh, Creations Revealed uh, show. So uh, potentially uh, okay, that, that, make, that. Okay, well, there you go. There's the reason. That makes sense. Perfect reason right there. All right. We this saw the Coliseum's Coliseum collections on display. Nothing, nothing new here. But the, we saw the Steamboat, the Million Dollar Man. Yeah, th- this is uh, those had the uh, first pass samples of the uh, soft goods. Uh, really nice execution there, and uh, you also saw them without their soft goods. So very nicely done. And then uh, the next uh, set of images are all Elite Collection Series One Hundred Nine. The Shinsuke Nakamura. These are all available right now on RingsideCollectibles.com. The Shinsuke Nakamura. Cody Nakamura's finally paid. in an Elite form. I like the suit, the 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 suit, the suit, the suit, co- the su- the suit, the suit Cody comes with like the announce chair and a yeah, headset. He, com- and he, headset. he comes cool. with the, uh, I believe this is the first uh, figure to include the uh, the chair ever since, well, it, for, for single pack uh, figure because uh, the, the the chairs were first released with the main event rings that were exclusive to Toys R Us, I believe, uh, with the SmackDown main event ring it's and the Raw main event added ring. Added value, guys. I love, and yeah, it also also includes the uh, the uh, uh, headset as well. And first, elite Cody in a suit. Yes. 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 So I, I get it. it. Makes the the elite Cody in a suit a little more exciting, if you will. Uh, let's let's go to that that next slide, Mark. After the after that car, right there, Batista. Batista. 
I was surprised this, by this. So this is uh this is greatest the best hits. Of, but they did a re, re- they, they changed them up, put them in the blue yeah. instead of the red, which I appreciate that. Don't just switch thing, don't just re-release it, change it up a bit. Well, this was able to be accomplished because the plates and the books are pretty much a, the same. So yeah, it's basically able to be uh, accomplished. So yeah, it uh, does have uh, matching tampos as the other one, but now it's just uh, molded in blue and uh, the boots are now um, have uh, uh, silver spray ops instead of red spray ops. And, and this the, is the third time matching. we're getting this third time we're getting this ultimate rock sort of. Somewhat. I mean, this has yeah. the uh, the butterfly um, uh, the butterfly hinges on the uh, shoulders, and it also oh, no, like the Hogan, so it's better. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah this got is an upgrade. That. Yeah, and then uh, this, this, so this is uh, I that believe is, I think that is my favorite ultimate ever. That it's rock. a good one. I think, I think this is Ultimate sure. Edition Wave Five. This was the one that was exclusive to Amazon. The rock. So this has the uh, red trim around the uh, the rock uh, symbols that are across uh, his front and back of the trunk. So this will have the red trim, whereas the one that was uh, I believe Ultimate Edition Legends that was exclusive. So to target that one had blue trim. So this is uh, basically a, uh, a refresh, uh, oh, and it also has okay. yeah, and it also has the pinless arms and everything. So very nicely uh, executed there. Very cool. What else we got here, Mark? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, there's oh, uh, yeah. the line there. This was so cool. Uh, I will say, little birdie showed me the packaging of this a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, oh man, I can't wait to see these. I love the execution. We got Kofi. Woods, Seth, Rey Mysterio, Roman, and Cody as the Ninja Turtles as Shredder, as um, as yeah. Casey Jones. Super toyetic. I, I totally dig this. I love who they chose. I don't think I'll be getting any of these. Maybe. Really? Yeah, they, wow. they, they, the I current guys, like I can't break my rule. But it's not even like. They have the shells in the back that was nicely done, and even uh, the Roman has a cape with the uh, with the uh, oh. uh, signature, signature Roman Reigns logo, and he also has uh, face paint with the uh, our logo to resemble, I guess, a, a scar. So uh, I'll decide you know, when they're in in stock. They look fantastic. Is that Woods it's, as Donatello there? Yeah, definitely. yes, yes. And they also include uh, weapons uh, weapons racks uh, behind Kofi. There, you can see some weapon uh, weapon racks. So they will include uh, some uh, color coordinated. Uh, Weapons racks. It's mm. interesting. I dig it. I totally. I love these crossovers. I'm not I, sure. I, I think I'm going to pass. I'm not sure exactly well, if these two, are going to be available. Two turtle guys and they're out here. Wow. I just don't. If they were, if they were classic superstars, I would do it. I don't. I don't do current guys. I just don't. They look great. I just don't do ter- current guys. I'm sorry. I, see, no, I, I don't. I mean, if it was Hogan and Macho and uh, Ultimate Warrior, I, I don't know. Like you're saying in terms of the talent selection. Stone Cold, like I, I probably wouldn't do it. I mean, I, I don't have the Ghostbusters for the same reason. Uh, okay. Now let's look at this this Easy E Eric Bischoff back there. With Vincent. Vincent, a build, a figure. Vincent, another one I've been begging for. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot wait for that. Like, man, they're, they're going so heavy on this Monday Night Wars. Like, I wonder if they're like, hey, guys, you want another chance at this Nitro stage? <laughs> you want another chance to back it? Because we got the ring. We got all these sets, and the sets are successful. We got more coming. Love it. I mean, this is technically like Walmart's. I mean, they're this is Walmart's Legends. So right. Target, Target has the Legends. Walmart has main event uh, Monday Night War. Let's talk about this. The Who. There. This is a – now, this is a two-in-one-er. Right, yes. so it's it's Jimmy Evil Nightheart. We'll get to the picture later in his new foundation gear, and you know, I guess you take off the soft goods shirt and pants, switch the head, and you have the Who boots. Inaccurate, but I'm fine with it. It is what it is, you know, because he did, he wasn't wearing new foundation boots as a Who, but I'll take it. Added value, very fun, but not for me. Just a new not foundation for you. Gym. New foundation gym, it is, and uh, no, for me, no you, how can it's a new character? You need it. How is that a new character? It's the who. Yeah. It's not. It's not your It's the who. It's the same human. I, I'm getting it. We see Ultimate Rey Mysterio looks. I believe great. this may be back up for pre order. Yeah, this is available through Amazon. Ultimate Edition fan takeover based off of Rey Mysterio's WWE debut. I dig it. Cruiserweight cool. title looks great. Looks great. We see more pictures over here of the uh, Rhea Ripley. Is there Should anyone else? There, there yeah. may be other figures on that slide. That's the. Uh, that's the. Uh, only, only thing with uh, with the carousel post, you can't see what other images are uh, contained within. Looks like it was just the Ray Ripley. This oh. is the uh, Elite Collection Series 110 Austin Theory. Uh, yeah, so uh, brand new torso on him. Uh, has yeah, the looks uh, a lot better. Looks good. U.S. title. Yep. Bruno San Martino, that was originally going to be released in a uh, previous Legends Wave. He has been slotted. Uh, so now Elite Collection Series uh, 110, that includes seven characters instead of six to uh, uh, accommodate for uh, Bruno being slotted. So 
nice to see uh, this be refreshed in green trunks. I dig it. It's just past for me. I'm going to keep the blue. Say it. And that's available for uh, pre-order right now on ringsidecollectibles.com. And we got some uh, the Pete Dunn with the the chase. I, I like that he you know, has the jersey that that really cool, uh, the longer cricket hair, bat. cricket bat, cricket bat, very cool. What else? What's the next slide? Oh, we got the pretty deadly. They, those look fantastic. Oh, I didn't even yeah. see these. They oh, look great. so good. Soft, good tops. Come, that's a, come, I think that's the only way you could really execute those, right? Yeah, coming soon yeah. to the uh, elite. Uh, lineup the faces look great with their whatever faces they make very very cool we got uh roman reigns with the this is you know. the new uh wwe championship uh that at, at least with the uh gold uh center plate so uh and the first roman reigns to include the uh, red boots so but now oh, okay. he's now we switch back to black and this is actually a new head on uh the roman reigns as well that head looks different yeah yeah, and the Paul Heyman that's pictured next to it, that is going to be a part of the From the WWE Vault Ringside Collectibles Exclusive Series 2 wave. So, And that's the Heyman from the three-pack? with. Yeah, he was a part right? of the uh, the Amazon exclusive yeah. uh, Beast versus Bloodline oh, pack. Oh, yeah. okay. Very, very cool. So nice we way to get him out uh, for uh, collectors. We saw some studio renders here of upcoming things. There, There's Xavier Woods, the yeah, elite this, figure. This is all Elite Collection Series 112. So, yeah, Xavier Woods, Channing Stacks, Lorenzo to go with your uh, Tony Lorenzo. So uh, I think uh, uh, other members of the family will be coming out as well. You have uh, J.D. McDonough, formerly known as uh, Jordan Devlin. He includes uh, hair plates and the uh, PBC uh, entrance jacket. Very nicely done. And the height is uh, really nicely done, too. So, uh and uh, the Seth Rollins, he is in his Bray Wyatt inspired gear uh, with the pinstripes on the, along the uh, along the tights. Uh, the Becky Lynch, I believe they said, was from TLC, and she has, has a chase. A ladder. So the second the second slide on that mark is uh, the chase. But um, yeah, so uh, and she yeah includes the uh, the typical uh, I believe that's a six run rag a six run ladder. So uh, and then the uh, Bray Wyatt that was supposed to come out with the ultimate adi- uh, ultimate deletion uh, Walmart oh, yeah. or it's Epic, finally coming, Epic, huh? Epic wow. Walmart. So yeah, this has now uh, been slotted in the main line, a part of uh, Elite Collection Series uh, I love 112. That. By the, by the way, this was my tag team partner on Raw against the Viking Rangers, Raiders. Was it really? No way. Yes. You got to get it then, Mark. I think I do. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? I think I do. Yeah. I thought. I oh my that. god! I had no idea. Yeah. There's a. No uh, let's next. This, we got Tiffany. Yeah, this is uh, Elite Collection Series 113. Tiffany Stratton, uh, so based that's off her of first time it, as an Elite, right? Yeah, this is uh, her first execution as an elite, and uh, that's in uh, Barbie-inspired gear. And Jeez, Carlito. Jack is, grizzled Carlito. Carlito, oh, Jack grizzled Carlito with the apple, and then he has that's a chase a great, variant uh, as well. Brand new, brand new hand with the uh, with the apple, and yes, oh, he yeah. does have a chase in the purple. Um, so, yeah, awesome. re- really, really nicely done with the Carlito. And, yeah, I love, uh, I be- love that I Carlito. I believe it will have the uh, Paula Cruz type body that was also used up on my rude uh, items as well. And uh, first ever Jay Uso with uh, the Yeet gear. Oh so yeah, this is very very, very timely. Yeah, a lot a cool. uh, lot more money, and he will be a part of Elite Collection Series One Hundred and Fourteen. Jimmy oh, Uso, Jimmy Uso, heel Jimmy Uso. Yeah, and he will be a part of Elite Collection Series One Hundred and Fourteen as well. Damn, that looks great. We got a, a Kyrie right there with the umbrella. Yeah, this is the uh, gray sculpt, and yeah, this is going to be uh, Kabuki Warriors return. Kyrie saying that's a part of Elite Collection Series 115. Our truth back in the line. What's yeah, up? What's yeah, up? What a legend. What a legend is right. The Rock is very, very timely. This is awesome. Wow. Elite Ultimate Collection Series Rock. 114. Our truth also in Elite Collection Series 114 will come with uh, Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso. So. Coming soon, later this fall, available. Yeah, another Logan top, Paul top, figure. Top picks, Logan Paul. I'm assuming this may pair with the uh, with the ricochet pot- uh, potentially. So, yeah, really uh, colorful yellow and blue outfits at uh, Logan Paul. And this is the uh, so yeah, this yeah, is the there's Rose. that that ultimate dust. You see the uh, the the birthmark, the hat, the bandana, the knights, like all the hands, different heads. All the heads are so good too. Yeah. That's and I believe fun. this is the first Dusty to have the finger tape. So, yeah, great, great execution. They can go all out with uh, the Ultimates. And that will be available uh, through Target. So that's part of the Legends segment. Ultimate uh, this, Dominic. Yeah, this is uh, Ultimate Edition uh, Series 23. Dominic Mysterio, he uh, has his father in the same wave. This is from WrestleMania when he came out uh, through the uh, through the uh, jail 
door, whatever. And I believe this will uh, include handcuffs as well. So the handcuffs are not pictured here. So typical big boss man handcuffs. And the uh, we'll we'll see uh, some first shots later uh, with, uh, with I love like, the, the mask. Race detailing. Yeah, mask is very nicely done. And I think like even like it had like the skull on the back. So really nice detail that will be accomplished here. So flash uh, style Rey Mysterio looks good. Yeah, this is the corresponding Rey Mysterio, so this pairs with the Dominic, so you can have uh, your battle, uh, father versus son. And I think uh, it was also said that this will have the uh, uh, PVC belt as well, so you can oh, recreate cool. recreate uh, uh, Rey pulling off the belt. Oh, LA Knight right here. Is this the uh, the defining this, moments, or is it different like, one? And no. you get an ultimate, and you get an oh, ultimate, oh, and you get an like, so this many is coming ultimates. out party. I mean, listen, he, he's, he's over it as of far as now, so LA Knight like, ultimate. Man. It's almost like ultimates are like the new like basics is how many there are. <laughs> Here's the 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 glow in the dark uh Bray Wyatt. We're finally gonna get it. And it's yeah, the, the ultimate as well. The LA Knight and the Ray Mysterio, they were part of uh Wave twenty three, and this is Wave twenty four. I believe uh Bray may have been the only character that was revealed for Wave twenty four. Wave twenty five features, I believe, uh Damian Priest. Yeah, we got Damian Priest right there. He's got a that lot of is in his that is in his skeletor inspired gear. So uh, really, really cool. And got the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase. That's well, your Money in the Bank. This, yep. this, this shocks me. Yeah, great. Here we go. Muda, baby. Great. Possibilities Muda. And look, and ultimate. And I, oh, look at that. They're gonna. I've been saying this. Let's finally do some like, sort of mist as a, as an accessory, and they're doing yeah. it. Spray in the mist. Entrance gear can do I don't all even the know poses. How I want to display that. There's so many options. I almost feel like you got to do it. Oh man, maybe two. I don't know. Uh, no, not two, but man, you gotta. Well, spray in the mist, hundred percent. Spray in the right, mist. I guess. Man, the, like, looks incredible. That man. now that is what gets me boned up. This one gets me boned up too. Kane, this, this is a defining moments ringside exclusive, where his his arm this, is on fire. Yeah, yeah this is uh, from the. Uh, from the Inferno, when uh, he's, he, his arm cut on fire, and this is it will, unbelievable. It will include uh, translucent to post. I'm not sure if there's going to be four or if it's just going to be uh, probably one uh, translucent post. So potentially you may have to buy four of these if you want to accomplish. Oh, I was wondering what those. You can put that on your post. Interesting. Yep. So I believe this pairs oh. with uh, with your Ultimate Edition rings. So great, if great you have video. the uh, that's awesome. Line. That's really cool. RVD, Brad, are you going to get this ECW and TV yeah, title it. RVD? I got it. Now, what moment is this that's defining? What is a special pay per view that I don't know about? Or what yeah, is this? I believe so. I don't think they announced exactly what it was, but yeah, it was probably when he won either the World Television Championship or I. I so I'm not. I, I don't know. So it's at, at some point in '98. It does say '98. Yeah, it does say Mr. Monday Night uh, along the uh, along the side of the singlet and, and, and as well as uh, '98. Is my favorite oh, Rob man. Band. I don't know this. I, this might be a skipper for me. Whoa! Wow. It's like how many RVDs do I need? This was on display, so uh, we'll we'll see uh, images as well of those. So these are the uh, color renders, and uh, LA Knight is the, was the third figure to be announced for that. It What's is this from Ultimate. What? What did he do? This is uh, the I believe moment his, is what it is. I believe That's this what is I'm from saying. his, his the SummerSlam fun. Slim Jim Battle Royal. So. Okay, I get it. Okay, why does he have a skin tone colored elbow pad? I don't believe that will be on final. The uh, the sample was not shown, um, uh, unlike the Kane, Rob Van Dam, and the fourth character that uh, we will see uh, momentarily. And then the, uh, the next slides are of uh, first shots, test shots of the uh, of uh, Ultimate Edition series, uh, Wave 23, uh, Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio. Let's just and, skip to the new figures. We already covered yeah. these guys. And there's the LA Knight as well. Okay. Oh, well, so, here's, here's the fire on the uh, arm. Yeah, so it's a translucent, great. It's so translucent cool. orange. And we'll I love it. Fire extinguisher. I dig so, it. So we're going to get some more ringside from the vaults. We have the New Age Outlaws. Those were Target exclusives. Yeah, part of the Hall of Champions uh, uh, assortment that was exclusive to Target. So, yeah, that's pre-interchangeable hands and everything. So now, yeah, this so is I, like I think I'm gonna have to get these just to swap them out. You know, I think it's right. just it was it, what's done is done. Rikishi, great Rikishi. I, I like this Rikishi also, as well. If I'm not mistaken, those had hard good shirts, and these are I think soft they did. Shirts. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Uh, the Rikishi looks awesome. I'm, I'm probably gonna be getting Brian, that. Uh, drunkenly saying, "What's up, the Rikishi in the elevator?" I missed that. What happened? Sup, Keish? I know Keish, dog. You said, what's up, Keish? Sup, Keish. Mark, Mark, because I just, like, I mean, I've met him a hundred times. I can say, sup, <laughs> Keish. I love it. Well, there's Diesel. Man. Elite Collection Series 16. And, yeah, that's uh, crazy. Yeah. That's a good one. I dig it. There's that Paul Heyman again. Talked about. 
Shawn Michaels. Was, that was right. The so head was probably going to be nothing. Shawn Michaels, they switched the head. This is not yeah, the head no. that came with this. There's Shawn. some there's some refreshes that they are switching the head around. They potentially may include uh, different heads as well. So this is the ultimate head on the ringside DX Shawn, which yeah. goes for a lot of money. In which I think yeah. this is more a correct hairstyle for the pay per view. Correct. I'd say so. Yeah, yeah, because the Mark, other one. I did. I did a fix that ponytail. What's that? Technic. That's your that's your pay per view, right? Yeah, but I I have it, and I did a fix up. I took the ultimate head fix ups, oh, woof, and I put Te- it on there, and it worked perfect. What a creep. Technically, the chaps are still incorrect on the HBK, but yay, got to make the make the most of what we got. So well, there's the Becky Lynch with the yeah. ladder. Looks good. They just showed the standard one. Then this is the uh, uh, JD McDonough with the interchangeable hair plates. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, here we go. Look at this. The superstars, Razor Moan, just traditional blue trunks, but then like the gear that he wore, like. One Dark top. match chase. Dark yeah, match with the long tights. That's why it's too deep for me. Deep I cut. love it. I, I understand there's a it. picture on the internet that this happened, but I'm this is along the lines it. of that when Kane comes with that cape. Yeah, well, yeah, no, because thanks. that's it's almost like it's similar to what uh, they're doing with their uh, origins line, to where they're doing what the original concept. I'm talking about the Masters of the Universe origins. So with those Mattel, the team there, they're doing uh, the original concept. So like they're doing the original concept of Beast Man as a figure. They're doing the original concept of Skeletor as a figure, He Man. So this the the, the, um, the uh, Razor Ramon, and I believe there was I'm another character as well. Say what my kids doing. say when we give them vegetables. Not for me. No thanks. Well, the Brutus is cool so, because I don't know if it's, we're going to see in this slide, but it's a... a yeah, it was two, not pictured here. I believe they showed it off today on Monday. It's a so two and one where he's the Zodiac as well, which I think is cool. Oh, I didn't see that at all. And then Rey Mysterio, WCW, or is that ECW? That's I'm not quite WCW, sure. Ray with that is, that's WCW, yeah. yeah. So that uh, includes the brand new soft goods vest, so nicely executed there. But I don't think uh, Ray will scale with the other ones, but that is fine. So, yeah, uh, that's, Remco's that's totally scale. Fine. Yep. What what else we got up there, Mark? Pass I think there was some... I think uh, Legend Series 24 may have gotten uh, nixed off of uh, potentially the uh, the post here because uh, it didn't see the standard release of the, uh, unless that was in a, another carousel post that we skipped over, but uh, didn't see the uh, Jim the Anvil Nightheart standard. Oh, well, technically. Oh, because yeah, that's, that's what happens. Ringside doesn't post stuff that doesn't come to ringside. And then there was also a uh, Kurt Angle. Uh, in oh, the, it's true. It's true. Sure. Yep. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. there was uh, Farouk. He is the chase. They have the nation uh, Farouk and the uh, post nation or later nation Farouk. Oh, my uh, God. Singles run Farouk. Yeah. And then uh, there uh, there was a Hogan. Matt's 1991 Hulkster Rules Hogan. Oh, yeah. Like a WrestleMania 8, right? I believe so. Yeah. The one where he fought, uh, I believe, uh, Taker or so around that era. So when he kind of thinned down. So, uh I think uh, that one may have the uh, Hollywood Hogan torso potentially, but no pictures have been uh, shown of that without the soft good shirt. Are we, so are we going to do a fill count here? Because yeah, let, and let's make these quick. Let, here's the a bunch of, of main fill, event. Okay, punks. so one, yeah, that the two, uh, the, two, three. the two to the right, the two to the right are uh, part of main event series 150. So those will be in the same wave as that Stone Cold that was previously mentioned, and the uh, I, technically it's uh, Royal Rumble 2010, but I think the uh, potentially the chest hair uh, was deco reduced, so that uh, potentially may not be uh, on final. And that is a part of main event series 154. I don't think they announced the wave for this. This is championship showdown. Uh, well, main event showdown now um, with uh, CM Punk and his Bret Hart gear that was first That's worn cool, at SummerSlam yeah. uh, 2012. And uh, it does come with the uh, spinner Randy design of the Orton. WWE Championship. Randy Orton. <laughs> and Orton. Uh, Randy Orton with the blue trunks design. So and oh, like this is wrestling uh, Dominic Dominic at MSG. Cereal, how show. Yeah. How show. Is this necessary? They couldn't put this in his fucking Rumble gear? Jesus Christ. <laughs> this well, is an elite figure. That's coming too. No, it's not. Well, no, I mean, not yet. I mean, I'm sure it, it is. Well, yeah. But punk, this is this is the pipe famous bomb pipe punk. bomb. That's so cool. This, defining this, moments. The yes, fourth defining the fourth, moments. Yeah, the fourth one that was a part of the four pack that is available right now for pre-order. I mean, exactly that is a defining moment. I don't know if LA Knight went in the Slim Jim Battle Royal <laughs> as a defining moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got to move into it, brother. Got to move uh, some units. I think the uh, pipe bomb, yeah, the fighting moment. We also have the white shirt. CM Punk has returned. We, I'm totally cool with that. Eight, yes, nine, that I lost count. Good. How many CM Punks are we getting? Uh, I mean, you're going to get a lot by the end of the year. So. Holy smokes. And listen, he's going to sell, so I don't mind it. Right, yeah. yeah, of course. That is the Elite Collection CM Punk Returns figure that is available right now uh, for pre-order, I, uh, for pre-order on MattelCreations.com. Yeah, I believe that uh, closes on uh, April 22nd. So, yeah, and that uh, Mark just had on the screen uh, the basic uh, 
main event series 150 CM Punk's uh, in the but basically 2013 CM Punk. The first release was his SummerSlam 2013 gear. Well, technically, it doesn't have the kick pad, so it's based off like the October 2013. Oh, well, I, think, I think we could skip. All and, that and, and, and the chase, I believe, is the in the uh, two pack that was uh, with uh, Ryback recently. So yeah, a lot of stuff uh, available pre order right now. And is that uh, it? Is, it, is that all the reveals? There I was mean- uh, two other characters that were announced. The uh, Undertaker is Kane. Uh, it's on the uh, slide there, Mark, for the uh, from the vault. Uh, really? Oh wow! Okay. So oh, wow. Undertaker is Kane. That will that that will be uh, the uh, one of the other characters in the from the Phil vault that just came out as well, right? Well, Undertaker's Kane. That was uh, I believe uh, twenty nineteen. Yeah, and time flies. And what's this Eddie Guerrero? Is this that first Legends Eddie? Yes, this is this is the Legends Eddie that was pictured wow. so in, in the No Way Out. So uh, I believe it will probably have uh, updated gear and uh, the new oh, same portrait or potentially other. Right? Damn. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So if if they uh, are able to ex- execute uh, vac metal on the uh, plates, that would be uh, great. But if not, hey, get uh, get the. Uh, Undisputed Championship uh, released once Whoa, more. Jesus, so. I'm I'm gonna tell it out. Holy shit! All right, shit. boys, we did it. Well, yeah. let me let me run through this ringside news. Uh, thanks, D, for all that help. Jesus Christ, that yeah. was a lot of stuff. We got new pre-orders, the Finding Moments Ringside exclusive four pack with Pipe Bomb, CM Punk, Kane, RVD, and Slim Jim, LA Knight. Uh, WWE from the Vault exclusive series two featuring Eddie Guerrero, Diesel, DX, HBK, Undertaker, Billy Gunn, Road Dogg, Rikishi, and Paul Heyman. Outsiders Ultimate Edition two pack with Scott Hall, Kevin Nash. Best of Ultimate Four with Batista and The Rock. Elite One Ten with Roman Reigns, Austin Theory, Pete Dunne, Rhea Ripley, Kit Wilson, Elton Prince. If you gave me $1 million, I couldn't tell you what their names were. Uh, and Bruno Sammartino. No offense, pals. Uh, yeah, great gimmicks. Uh, <sighs> New Stock, Ultimate Edition Series 21 with Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Elite Top Picks with Roman Reigns, Remus Zero Gunther. And in stock, the WCW Nitro Ring. I need one, John. Let's go. And up next is the ringside top 10 this episode of the major wrestling figure podcast has been brought to you by ringside collectibles the number one online retailer of wwe action figures go to wrestlingfigures.com and make a purchase and when you do use discount code major at checkout to save 10 percent Another sale and Sami Zayn's number one again. Ringside Top 10. Use code MAJOR for discount at the end. All right, number 10. From the vault, ringside exclusive, Eddie Guerrero. Number 9, Sami Zayn Ultimate 21. Number 8. Kevin Owens, Ultimate 21. Number seven, DX HBK from The Vault. Number six, LA Knight, Elite 108. Number five, RVD, Defining Moments, Brinkside Exclusive. Um, number four, The Outsiders, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, Brinkside Exclusive. Number three, Defining Moments, Four Pack, CM Punk, RVD, Kane and LA Knight, Brinkside Exclusive. Number two, Cody Rose, Ultimate Edition 21. And number one, CM Punk, Pipe Bond, Defining Moments, Ringside. Nice. Exclusive. That's going to be a hell of a figure. Guys, like a, like that gonna be was a hell of a good selling <laughs> amount of news. I almost want to cut the rest of the show, collapse the whole rest of the show. That's how much news <laughs> well, there was. The problem is, well, I we, have the most amount of weekly we definitely purchases. Definitely got some great time. weekly purchases yeah. from WrestleMania. So let's, let's right. go there. So from let's Major go. Bendy's. Big out your my ass. I'll bring my guys. You have yours. I got Sergeant Slaughter. And I got Rick Flair. Woo! Here's Andre the Giant. And here's Macho Man. And Brian Mai. And Matt Cardona. They're so real. Can you tell the difference? Roster gun. Video silence. Big rubber guys. They're for real. Each sold separately on MajorBendies.com. Big rubber guys. Collect them all. Some might cost a little. 
some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski. And your figures will be bought. <laughs> Weekly purchases brought to you by Major Bendy's. Use your use the hashtag Major Bendy's each and every week. We choose your picture or video. You will get a little prize. This one comes from at the Slam Sessions. At Major Dwarf Pot is killing it with these hashtag big rubber guys. I was so excited to add these to my Macho Man collection and standing right next to the original LJM Macho Man, it fits right in. Hashtag Major Bendies. This guy's a great macho collection to put the original LJN next to the big rubber guy. Ooh, yeah. Bigger and better, baby. All right, guys. Big week, apparently. So, um,. Who's going to start here? What do you want well, to do? Let's start with things that came from our friends at Ringside Collectibles. Okay. What I'm most excited about. Oh, I don't have that yet. I built myself a John Damn. Cone wow. SummerSlam set. Lex Luger upgrade. I got to tell you guys, old Lex Luger. You you cut him. You He's you, cut. It's not even comparable. This new one's so much better. So it's just Wait, oh, so the old Luger's cut. Old Luger's got new ones. New ones are fantastic, dude. But they're so not. Good. They're not different eras. I don't even think that's true. I think the other one's just kind of like a mishmash of like nothingness. Okay. If you look, it's not worth having. Okay. That. Upgrade. Get the new one. The uh, the meme taker didn't make the cut. Cool figure, but not sure. not our era. Uh, who am I missing? X Pac. X Pac must have. I did, the, once you Ugh. said the bandana thing. He needs a bandana, right? It does bother me. I mean, but we I've been dying for an X Pac in that red right. and silver. But you didn't cut so. other X Pacs, did you? No. So you kept the original X Pac and the the yeah. Army X Pac. The other one's like a it's a more like Kane in X Pac X Pac. Right. Right. The blue you know, in the green and the black. And lastly is what And is you have thing? the NWO X Pac, right? Yeah, it's that's X Pac. That's that's completely different. No, there's like WWE Oh NWO. yeah, I have that one too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And who's that last? was a huge pass for me. WWE NWO. No thanks. I mean, it's right there the cusp of like. It's important what, though. Yeah. Uh, then why am I mistaken? The last one it is. Oh, B- Big Glenn, which I thought I didn't want, but I kept that. It's just better. It's yes. The best, like ruthless aggression, error, Kane. Really nice figure. Cool. Big, massive. Tommy Hendrix says you could just put the the vault Bubba head on that John Cone. You got. <laughs> I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, look, exa- they look exact. <laughs> I don't know but about Cones that. Cones is the star of the set to me. Obviously, for personal reasons, he's the man. That likeness, and we love him. Is the likeness me. is so unreal good. in this thing. It's so good. Wow. The amount of hands that he comes with. I think it's like Undertaker that that comes with his hands. It's insane. Like for a build a figure, the amount of stuff they you know they're giving him. So I love super it. cool. And even I think even at like whatever you know, John Cones beloved by us because he's our buddy, but. There's no modern ref like in your it's collection. Like, this is it's a historic. must must have. Like you got to do it. You got to do it. Yeah. So that was super sweet. Also from Ringside Collectibles, I got Ultimate Twenty One, Sami Zayn. Oh wow, Kevin Looks Owens, great. super toyetic, very fun. Obviously, like Ultimate style here. All the parts, both with both their belts. They have three heads each, multiple hands. I was a little bummed that the PWG logos didn't make it. Ah, uh, damn. Something must have happened, but they are gone from the side of the tights because it was pretty far down the line, I thought, that that we saw that they were there, but not there. Uh, I, I saw people complaining about Kevin Owens without the shirt. I don't know what why you would even take that off. Yeah, why would you? So the, to me, it doesn't matter. I mean, they both come with their WrestleMania shirts. Well, people were saying like his, his neck was painted black. Definitely not. No, it looks fine. Yeah. So I don't know what what that was about. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, and again, and there's really no other. My, I guess my other thing is I kind of maybe, especially Kevin Owens, because like Sammy doesn't really wrestle in the shirt. But right, if Kevin Owens came with like a more evergreen shirt, I wouldn't have hated it. But really right. nice figures, great, you know, ultimate articulation, and, and it seems to be the. Especially after that new segment, the new kind of uh, route is to make more modern guys into ultimates, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, in that set, your new undisputed WWE champion. Shout out to friend of the show, Cody Rhodes. That's awesome. Super awesome to see him finish Good the story. Good time to come in stock. 
Yep. Uh, this is him from last year when he didn't finish the story at WrestleMania 39. You know he's going to get one this year with the mask and everything. Which I think I'll get that and keep that, but this one I think I'll eventually pass on. But live unboxing here for, you know, uh, journalistic reasons. That mask, Pretty sweet, though. by the way. And this is, so this cool. is uh, Mattel's first attempt at doing what Jazzwares did with his coat. Drop right, hand. and it's it's a great figure. And, I, and if we know Mattel, I'm pretty sure they knocked it out of the park. Well, let's check this out. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to get that figure, and then once the new Ultimate from next year, do I mean, from this year comes out, do a switcheroo. I don't. You know what I think is definitely getting cut. The uh, the original Ultimate, because I just that. That, that rain jacket, jacket. Sucked. It sucked. Rain, rain jacket just doesn't do it for me. Sucked. I, just, I don't know. God damn it. Oh, I found it. I'll try to do this as fast as I can for you guys. Let's go. Let's you, go. You know what I want to do? I want to put What's the, that. Whoa. Head on him. Because he has that. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark, you just can't believe how, how well I nailed that. <laughs> yeah, you were good on that. Yeah. My voice is back, guys. Yeah, to me, that looks like a pure... Ultimate. Now we know why, or we assume why, the first one had the raincoat is because they wanted it to be different than the Supreme. I totally get it because it's like almost like the same time, right? You right, know? right. But this, you know. Now I'd be interested to hear how this compares to the Supreme. Well, you can do this. Looks great. First glance, it looks great. I got to get yeah. one in hand to really look at. And it, they but. nailed the execution of it. It's just the same way as the Supreme. In the same way you've seen, you, you know, your ultimate Bret Hart's with a jacket yeah, yeah. executed. Hands are hard to get in, but really nice, awesome American Nightmare logo on the back there. Yeah, just the, the sculpting like looks the fantastic head. on that. Very nice. Uh, also, from Ring, side collectibles, use discount code MAJOR, save 10%. Look at this bad boy. Oh, uh, Easy E. Easy E. The WCW Nitro Ultimate Ring in stock. Eric Bischoff Ultimate. Big Glenn didn't come in a little box, right? Yes, he did. He did get a little box like this? Yeah, yeah. I didn't remember that when I snuck this out of there. I don't think I'll be keeping the ring because I have no place to put it, basically. And I don't play with wrestling figures anymore, unfortunately. But a whoa, look at this. Man, oh, looks nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess he's got this. I didn't realize he has the same thing. I didn't realize there is sleeveless arms. So he has the same technology as Cody, where you can uh, pop his jacket arms on and Makes off. Makes sense. I, no I, need I, for I'm, that. I'm gonna keep it just like yeah, that. Yeah, he's the jacket. jacket. Yep. He's got the alternate white shirt. But I mean, I don't think it, I don't think a thing needs to be done to this. It's just nope. the way he is. Is the way he is. I'm back. Oh, oh. yeah. Let's well, he's go. not on back yet. Well, you know, I, mean, I, I want an I want an on back easy. Well, we, oh, we have we, one. We, we got we one. Have one. We got the, one. That's right. We got one in the ruthless aggression. That's right. I didn't realize this comes with a little WCW microphone. Oh yeah, that's oh, beautiful. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, that's a beaut. A little acid wash to jeans a little bit that's there. Nice deco heads. I love really, it. Really, really sweet. The other that's scan awesome. has. I might switch the other scan a little smirk. Well, let me okay. see the, one, the other one. I don't know which one. It's a stoic head smirk. or the smirk. Smirk. Well, I think, smirk I think is smirk. more easy, right? Being a cocky, prick. coming out for an NWO promo, telling you everything is great. <laughs> oh, oh boy, this is. There it is. Wow, yep. that's the one. Awesome. Yep. So, if you want that's your Eric the Bischoff, one, pal. the only way to get them is to get the uh, Nitro Ultimate Ring from Ringside Collectibles. I love it. That's a Crazy. must have for a, uh, a vintage collector, I would say. Um, all right, I got a purchase. Where is it? Well, first, let me talk about this. I got this last week at WrestleCade from Colt Cabana. I forgot to mention it. I got the micro brawlers of David Arquette and friend of the show, RJ City. Yes. So these were pro wrestling tees, crate I items. I got said those. before, I don't recognize them in trucks and, trunks, and I really don't recognize them outside of his American Badass gear now. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Hey, we all got these. We all got the um, Zombie Sailor. 
Okay, Jack so Tunney. You want to get into some zombie sailor talk? Let me, let me, let me go for my pile. Here's the doctor style slick. I'll I let opened it, it to get right it home now. easy. Yeah, right. I'm going to open it right now, let it breathe. Now, there's, what is there, seven slicks coming out? What was Three what was slicks. Oh, three, this was the Jesus con Christ. exclusive. Confirmed I, I three slicks from Zombie Sailor. I already have mine in Defenders here. Got them home safe. Slick with this was an exclusive. Oh, my God. Don't try to take his hat off, boys. His it hat falls off. off. No, his hat it doesn't fall off. No, it's good. Oh, mine fell right off. But when you take it off, it's like this. Oh, that's yeah, because he's yeah, yes. got different hats. No, I get with, it. Yeah. All right, so yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. Jack Tunney, in Defenders, ready they really to go. got his gray perfect here. <laughs> and I, I, uh, I also marveled at the the deco on the grandpa tie. Um, I also was shocked, hours. which I mean, obviously it's the toy business, but these are the exact same bodies. Slick and tiny, right. just different heads, which I get it. You got to do, and it's just a suited guy. Not a big deal. I just yep. can't believe that in 2024, I'm opening live a Jack Tunney. Like, as a kid, I would have loved to have had Jack <sighs> Tunney with my Hasbros. You know what I can't believe in 2024? I'd ask Smart Mark Sterling for an autograph. Oh, my God. Look at that bad boy. There you go. Autograph you- Mark Sterling and the rare boy. Out of 1,200, both signed. There you go. For my collection this I weekend. did the yellow and like green, um, mostly like the, the colors that popped this weekend. And the first of my good I ever friends, signed was for Brian, by the look way. Look at this. Autographed Raven. Wow. Oh, yeah. Heels and faces. This Jack Tunney, is, I cannot believe I'm holding a Jack Tunney right now. I know. I need really to cool. get an extra. I don't have. An extra slick and tunny to open so, yet. So same, I'm them. the reverse. I got them open. I need to get them to keep me on cards. Yeah, but you were traveling and didn't care about the cards. Right, I was right, able to right, take right, care right, of them. Right. I didn't want to do that. So, yeah, this, listen, these are the same bodies, but the way the paint application is done, they look drastically different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. I'm, dude, I'm not. I was making an observation, not a yeah, complaint. Yeah, I think you did a great job with it. Yeah. But the, the unfortunate part, and this is really me being a nitpicker, I'm looking at my figures I got from last week on the table right here. The last four figures are all suited figures. I Mark, observe, I observed that as well. I thought that was a little, a little Todd, bit much. Slick, yeah. and uh, Jack Tunney. So, I, like, we're diehards, but I don't know if everyone's a completist like that. You right. know, but he had great stuff on display at the con. And, and my my last heels and faces get is the autographed. Oh, you found him, Nick. He Gage, did it, huh? Broski's mortal enemy, MDK, all fucking day. wow. I, you know, Broski and Nick Gage, Mortal Enemies. Me, I just texted him. I said, Nicky, you want to swing by and sign some figures for me? Yeah, he he said, Brian, for you, later. anything. Not a problem. Wasn't even booked at WrestleCon. Came to just hang out and sign figures wow. for me. So much appreciated. I want to thank Brian Jackson. Got me this Maya Via family uh, three pack, I think. I need that, guys. Slide into when, the messages. I think, you know. The rock I'm going to keep for now, but one day might get cut. I don't think that rock makes the cut for me personally. Uh, but. Peter Maivia is I incredible. Said originally. Rocky Johnson's incredible. But um, I love the set. The rock is just so unique. He's got the, the loafers. He's got the watch, the, uh, the, the bracelet. I think I'm, I might keep all three of these like this on display, like when I open it up. Right. So I'm going to And do I'm that. definitely upgrading my... Rocky Johnson. That one's so much better. Oh, 100% upgrade yeah. to Rocky Johnson. Uh, guys, last week I talked about the Big Shots Matt Cardona. I got a mm. second one. But also on Big Shots, you can get some alternate sizes. If that Big Shot is too big, you get a medium Big Shot. Oh, a medium shot. A medium shot Matt Hit Cardona. Hit me with your medium shot. And if that is too big, you can get a hornswoggle size shot. Oh, now we're talking. Are those going to be on the table? I feel These like those will are... not going to be on the table. This is more of a key, has a keychain attachment to it. But oh, wow. you know me. I had to get all my own stuff. So get them right now. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised with the medium boy. But you know me. I want the big boy. I want the yeah. real deal. So get these at getbigshots.com. Available now. I got... This in the mail from Mattel, Mattel Creations. Ooh. Oh, the okay. ring. I think just keep it like this. Go to the storage unit for now because I don't know what else to do with it, but I'm such a retro completist. How to get it. Get the ring. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm going to display two and keep each sticker because it's two different stickers. I think if you have them on display, that's a great call and you can put everyone in there, but yeah. I just don't have the real estate. 
Um, I got a Star Wars two pack. Brian's gonna zone out here, but it's a three. Da, C- da, 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 da. Hey, da, 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 da. C three PO on a battle droid body and a super battle droid. This from the prequels. I remember that. Yeah. I thought this was so funny. I just had to get it for my Black Series good. collection. Yeah, I like that. Got that from HasbroPulse.com. So pick that up if you're a Star Wars fan. I got the gifted from um, <clears throat> Upper Deck. I got this Allure 2022 pack, well, and they also box. gave me open that bad boy. I'm gonna open it on stream. They also gave me three e packs, and I'm going to open this and the three e packs on uh, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast YouTube Live this week. Oh wow! Um, but so they gift me that so I could do this stream. It's gonna be really cool, and we're gonna do a bunch of giveaways. And any of the signed cards that I get, I'll be giving away. Very very cool. Anything else, guys? Unless it's me. Unless it's me. If it's mine, I'm not giving it away. Sorry. Jeez. I'm just getting started here. All right. I got oh, some boy. gifts from our friends this from is... Powertown. Oh, I messaged oh, this, my this... good friend Magnum. I said, you know what? This is my last Amici. thing. Oh, what's that? Amici. Uncirculated set. Stan Why did you do, Why'd you do that? Uh, I just felt like I needed them for my collection. Really? I don't have just to be complete, so... As you can see, if you haven't seen these yet, they have this hologram sticker, uncirculated, Powertown Wrestling for display purposes only. Stan Hansen, Bruiser Brody, and Damn. Vern Gagne. That's the complete set of those uncirculated because uh, Kerry and the other guys never got that far wow. down the line. So I thought that was cool to finally you know, have that out in the open. And then, modern day, wow, wow, wait, what the... We what? all got it. The a modern three-way. day warrior. A well, three way modern day right warrior. Now. I was excited to get into this thing. The um, copy, if you open this up, is written by his two daughters. Yeah, I thought that was neat. It's very it's cool. The diamond, nice touch. diamond collection, Kerry Bond, Eric Powertown, where wrestling lives on, includes the world class championship. Man. Com- a complete. Redeco job, but uh, and complete fantasy, or we're not sure. I think D and I came to that conclusion, or no one really found any photo evidence of him wearing all this stuff at the same, at the same time. time. Yeah, you know what you gotta do carefully because I'm just weird. The left and right knee pad, I always want to make sure you get it right, so you gotta do it very slow. Oh, it actually says which one's which. it says, yeah, and the right boots there. pop off, yeah, right, right. Left. You know what? It's it's been a while since we had a Power Town in hand, so I'm excited. Oh man, that's why I'm excited. Yeah, for thanks this. Power Town for sending big it. TNA wrestling Power Town news this Wait, week. Wait, they sent this to you for free? I don't remember buying this. I bought it. <laughs> I also bought others for what? Maybe I did buy it. My personal collection. I was t- totally surprised opening this. Huh? You know what? Maybe actually, now that you mention it, I did get. One in one package and three in the other. So maybe they did send me one and the yes. other three were ordered. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I broke was so bad. I was oh, wow. Hot. You know what? There's like plastic. They've never had a plastic like that, like a protector, like Jasper style. Oof. Oh, I see. Under the carry head. Yeah. Modern day warrior. This is nice though. I might display this one like this in the jacket and have the, I have the other one, no jacket doing the pose in my yeah, miscellaneous. Yeah, for sure. Do you have your power talents like in a separate thing or it's in the miscellaneous shelf? This is a miscellaneous for right now until it yeah, becomes. Well, you know, you're going to have a problem. Uh, my miscellaneous is not Got that packed. Man, these are just works of art. And I try to explain this to people. It's, it's a combination. They, f- they feel so good, right? It's a combo of yeah. an action figure and a statue, you know? Like, I don't want them to be the same size. I think elites are too skinny. I don't want it to be. They are in scale elites, but they're a little. Bigger, thicker. Mm. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with them being a little different. If they're their own thing, but they still like. If you were to display them, they don't. I have them on display. You don't. It doesn't look out of place. I'll tell you no, that. It's not no. like crazy. It's not like an LJN next to a Hasbro. No, it's not like yeah. No. Imagine if we the moved the, the legs and here. they broke off right now. <laughs> no, imagine live. Mag- <laughs> Magnum and uh, Steve would, would lose sleep. We don't want to do that. No. It's, I will say this is actual. This is really nitpicky. Like, why can't the knee pads just fucking be on them? I don't have the answer to that. I don't you know. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. But yeah. like, why do we have to do that? 
I don't yeah, know. I don't know. It's done. What's done is done. Uh, are you guys does still he, going? Does he not have a claw hand? Yeah, I have a, I have a few more things, Brian. Did you want to drop it? What's no, it? He, as I saw a claw hand. He has a, a claw, claw hand. hand and a fist. All right-handed. I must have dropped it then. <laughs> oh, no, I see it. I see it. I found it. I found uh, it. Okay. I mean, I love this. Fantasy or not, I dig it. It's a nice presentation. Well, like I said, it's the diamond collection, and it's limited to 2,000 pieces, so it's not like, you know. Can we, can we get some Matt and Brian diamonds? I'm trying. I'm, I pitched it. I would love it. Um, so, boys, yeah. I, I started a, a, a new collection. Oh, this yeah. is big. This but is yeah. an important new collection in one it. fell you, swoop. You got a bunch of stuff out of Colt Cabana's flea market? Oh, my <laughs> God. You got the Vader with the Vader mask? I actually started this collection like six months ago, and I was supposed to get it from Leo, and I hadn't seen him. Oh, but this kind of... I saw this going down a little bit, and I was like, wait, what? I now have a Galoob collection. Now, let me show you what I got. This. I, there was a guy at a flea market. Leo was there. He was selling in package Galoobs for a very good price. It was in Canada. And Leo did all the work haggling for Mark. Oh my he god. He haggled. Like these are in pretty good condition. So here we go. We got a Butch Reed in package. If you just go American carding, this is a very small and affordable. Wait, set. and you do you're doing this mid-on card or you're gonna open them? I was planning on opening, but I'm looking at these boxes and it's pretty insane. Rick Steiner. I think the only reason I say open them is because if you try to complete in box, it's gonna get very expensive. Barry Windham. Why who who who's ex- like the, the UKs, expensive. Brian Pillman. Is that a UK Pillman or Bengals? Oh, that's UK. Oh. No, no, no. I thought it was too. There was a glare. Oh, oh it's a glare. And the okay. belt was blocking the truck. I was like, Definitely Mark, hold bangles. on. That's like a thousand and thousand dollar figure. You're just whipping around. Ron Simmons. Whew. The Z-Man. Tom Zank, baby. And you have flair because I, I gifted it to you. And uh, this uh, flair two pack, um, bald arn, singles. bald arn, or or or, or not bald arn. Well, but arn's actually coming out the bottom. <laughs> so yeah. that, uh, you might as well open them up now, pal. Not not bald. Not bald. Okay, fixed not bald. bald. Okay. But anyway, I'm very excited. I'm not really sure where I got, I'm going to put it. I I have to decide if I'm opening these or not. Um, but I think you should. I do know. If I have a Lucy collection, they're all in really good they're condition. They're in nice condition. Yeah. I thought that's, that's, that's what you were that's doing. A, that's amazing, dude. That's really cool. It I is. think I want to say 200 bucks. Huh. Somewhere around that. 200 that's a, bucks for the whole steal. That's an absolute steal. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely steal. i still playing with this Cody here. This is really nice. Couldn't say no. Absolutely not. No way. What else you got, Brian? Guys, do we have enough time left in the show? Okay. The TNA autograph collection continued at WrestleCon. My good friend, Scotty, Series 1 Raven. That's and, cool. And truth be told, this whole thing started because I was trying to get Series 1 Men on Card, and I just went down this rat and everything. Co- no, no inscription. It's like if I don't, if something's not blaring in my mind, I don't ask for it. Like, quote the Raven nevermore? That's like not like TNA Raven, though. That's okay. like, I almost had him write Clockwork Orange, House of Fun, but I thought he'd Punch me in the face for asking okay. right all that. Um, so we got Raven. Series one. And by the way, my series one is complete. At least complete Minnow card. I have it finally now. And it will be hanging and actually displayed in my room. So I'm pumped about that. Where are you going to put that? I have like a sliver of room actually very close to me right here on this wall. Okay. Here. And that's it. Uh, this one I was super fired up about. We already made a social post about it. Kip James, a.k.a. Daddy Ass. I'm Kip oh. James, bitch. <laughs> Cool. And uh, that was a layup because he wore that shirt and Billy Gunn came to TNA and he was name changed like every week for like for the first yeah. five weeks. They settled on Kip James and he wore that shirt. I'm Kip James, bitch, because the Rick James bit from uh, Chappelle was popular at the time. And last but not least, and uh, we've been picking on him all show, but shout out to good friend Colt Cabana with the assist on this because I did not see this man in person this week. Wow. And I wish I did because he's a good friend. Sanjay Dutt. Autographed TNN, he wrote, the original player from the Himalayas. 
There it is. That looks Dutt. nice. So that's a sweet one. He did that great. He's yeah. got a great auto. Yeah, awesome inscription there. And the other uh, little layup from hanging out with Billy Gunn at WrestleCon was I asked him to sign my two pack, my ringside exclusive New Age Outlaws. So you retro. just you just went up to Billy while he was there. Yeah. I said, Billy, can you sign this for free for me? And he said, Yeah. Matt, I had a barn burner match with Billy Gunn. I was in his class. And NXT, we're, oh, we're, we're tight. We text. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I've tried to book him for Creative Pro a hundred times. He's just too busy and famous. <laughs> um, more WrestleCon gets. Finally, the prophecy is complete. Woo! Woo! No Autograph hair, no flair. Flair, big rubber guy. Um, needed that. He's a pain in the ass to get the bubble signed because he's the only sure. unique bubble we've had so far. It was bigger than the others. I thought but Fitterman it, told you F off. They did. Uh, so yeah, Kinnick had to wait in line. We wait in line and pay. pay. He just said, screw it. We want him for our collection. <laughs> and we weren't risking it. Also, I think Flair came like two hours late the first day, so that caused a lot of hysteria with that. Uh, my friend Sabu signed an uncensored collection for me. Sabu inducted cool. into the Hall of Fame. No show. Which, Love that. Love that. That Lauderdale tweet about that rocked my socks. It was hilarious. And we were literally with him downstairs. Like he just. I, I will. I, think, I will say this about that hotel. That elevator situation was really annoying. It was a lot of traffic in the elevator. But you think there were six elevators there? It wasn't. At it one just, point, it was just the elevator. A lot of so I was on this twenty-second floor, and then I went down to Russell in the morning. It stopped at twenty-one. 12. Twenty. I was 19, on 26 18, and I did that. 17, yes. 16. Yes. At one point, it was so full, and like the people would be like, I'm not coming in, I'm not coming in. Then one floor opens, and Justin Credit was like, sorry, guys, I'm coming in. I've been waiting 10 minutes. It just barges in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. Wild. Uh, all right, and to round this out with all these guests that I'm piled around here, pretty quickly, guys. I uh, didn't take me two years. I, I finished my story very, very quickly. You've seen the Lance Storm. You've seen the Rob Van Dam. Here's the Sabu nice. autographed ECW original I love magazine that cover. Case. Whoa. Yeah, I, I was prepared. I had these all ready to go from Amazon. Raven autographed ECW original magazine cover. Just incredible autographed original ECW magazine cover. And last but not least. Pull a favor with my good friend Pete, the human suplex machine. Taz signed this for me over the weekend. Good thing he lives 12 minutes from my house. Got it done to complete the collection. Wow, going to be hung up. Very excited. Um, that was just a random idea I had, and it came, came true like that pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm pumped. Those are the, the covers are awesome, and they're, they've there are people that are just so I, right. ECW. It's top guys. It's can, now, can you hang them all up? So four of them will be in the room. Two of them are going in the closet. Hung up though. Hung up. Ooh, who's getting cut? The impact players are going in the Ooh. closet. I decided. Yeah. So Ooh. I think that's fair. It's a tag team in there. Four top guys out here. All right. And actually, last but not, are we done? Done. I I'm done. Two, I got you. two things. Last but not least, and I'm going to sound like such a scumbag, and Mark's are even more of a scumbag because someone gifted him something and he didn't even mention it on the show here. No, I'm th- I said I have two more things. <laughs> oh, at least I'm done. No. Someone gifted me this. I ended up giving him stuff in exchange because I felt so bad, but I was so pumped and excited. Someone gifted this to me at the ECW Arena show that Swoggle and I did. It is a slabbed rise Whoa. and fall of ECW DVD in the saran wrap. 8.5 grading. Ooh. I mean, this is such a grail piece for me that I didn't even wow. know I wanted. It's fucking awesome. That is that so is beautiful. Cool. My favorite DVD of all time. Yeah. I mean, it's just <laughs> awesome, yeah. I remember... IGS, 8.5 mint. Wow. So, shout out to that Brusky? dude. The, the menu, the menu, uh, the DVD menu song yeah, is Matt Morgan's. It's Matt right? Morgan's song yeah. on SmackDown when I wrestle him. Yeah. The stutter of Matt Morgan. Didn't I'm standing in the ring. I'm like, oh shit, I know this song. I <laughs> went to sleep to this song many a nights. I have fallen asleep to so many DVD menus that that, that is the number one one for yeah. sure. 
Wow. Um, that was a lot. I got two two gifts. One from Herman. I got the Herm, I got the X Men comic. So this it's the it's a variant cover that has an uh, Cyclops in a figure box on it. So I thought that would be a cool thing to put in my. Um, That's sick, actually. In my, I thing. keep telling myself to watch X Men ninety nine ninety seven, but I've it, been so busy. It's good, but really sci fi. It's very like out there. It's, oh, so it's, maybe I won't it, like it. It's very like wild and like takes the next step. It's good. I look forward to it every week. Okay. I got a gift from somebody at WrestleCon. It's an unbelievable gift. Um, I was so excited I didn't get his name. I tried so hard. Billy walked around the con. Herman walked around the con. We have pictures of this man. <laughs> we can't figure out who it was. I've asked in the group. There's a you, giant I, thread. I, oh, by the way, you asked in the group and you just kind of like trolled on him. Nobody helped Bro, at all. I yeah. saw that post. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the possibles. Jack me off. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Balls Harry Balls on you was. Hey. Really. It wasn't me, pal. Yeah. Drew P Balls. Uh, or <laughs> Willie <laughs> Fister. Drew P Balls is a good one. Willie what? Willie Fister? Yeah. Willie like Nelson. I've never Willie heard Willie Bulldog, Fister. Yeah. These are all possibles, guys. <laughs> Willie Fister. <laughs> Well, if you, mystery man, if you are out there, if you could please shoot me a message, <clears throat> I would love to shout you out on the show. But here's what he gave me, guys. Let's hear it. I've said a bunch of times I would love a hot toy. And if I got one, I would get a Mandalorian hot toy. I'm serious, guys. In the <sighs> package. That's wild. Mandalorian hot Have you toy. not even messed with it yet? I'm going to that open it awesome. on stream. I am so excited. Oh. This is going to be a centerpiece to my Star Wars collection. Um. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm just amazed. Thank you very much, Mystery Man, in hat and uh, towel over your shoulder <laughs> and backpack. And that's all you got, huh? That's all I got. But I will hopefully find this Cinderella man one day. One day you'll find your the, man, Mark. Uh, shoe fits. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'll he, I'll talk more about it, uh, or there'll be some video or some stream or something that I'll open. This and do you have a place to display that? Oh, right on the top of the Detolfs. Ooh, centerpiece to the Star Wars stuff. Okay. Well, what a bunch of weekly purchases. A couple. This is a long ass week, guys. We gotta collapse some segs, but let's go to good housekeeping. All right, guys, welcome to Good Housekeeping. Guys, make sure you subscribe. YouTube.com slash at Major WF Pod. We have so many vlogs coming. The Squared Circle Expo vlog is up. You see me leave and go wrestle Adam Copeland. This weekend alone, we're going to have two, you see three two people vlogs. fight, by the way. Two, the cat fight. <laughs> Cat, cat fight. fight in the middle of the thing. And Swaggle not moving. Swaggles does not move when people fight. He, huh? he doesn't even get from his chair. No. So we're going to have the WrestleCon vlog. Is the live 19 vlog going to be part of that? Well, we'll see once we start looking at the footage. Okay, got it. And I then, haven't even pulled any footage yet, but what I am really excited to look at is uh, I got on the first, – first of all, guys, last Thursday, it snowed at yeah, my house in yeah, April. Yeah. I didn't get on the road until a little later, so I missed the toy hunt. You guys went to a, a, went to a, a suplex, uh, suplex Vintage Toys or Vintage Wrestling. They had vintage wrestling toys. They had, but they brought us into the basement. Very unique spot. Right? Very unique Not spot. Like nowhere we've ever gone before. That's my selling point. Yes. So I think you guys will really uh, enjoy that. So that'll be the first one up there, I think, because it's just like a standalone type of deal. Yeah. Probably be a little easier to to get up there, but but I'm looking forward to that. And yes. and also like you like I said earlier in the show at uh, Major Pod Clips on YouTube as well, the second channel. Um, just chugging along with segments of the show. And I don't just rip segments of the show. I add some stuff to you it. You do. You make it look nice. Yeah. So, like, we we talked on the show last week about Broski Wrestling Edge, 20-minute conversation, which Br Brian was blown away by. I sent him the video. He said, 20 minutes? Yeah. Well, I didn't realize we talked that long. It didn't feel like that. We talked about the whole thing, but I didn't just put the conversation. I added videos and pictures and all that stuff, so... 
at awesome. Major Pod Clips. We got ProWrestlingTees.com slash Major Pod. Some great stuff up on there. Major Pod merch, guys. If you missed out on Live 19 merch, there will be some stuff up this week. I believe there are some foam fingers, some hats like I'm wearing right now, some cups. Uh, also, MajorBendies.com. Get your Tommy Dreamer, Major Bendy. Get your Dusty Rhodes, Big Rubber Guy, your Powers of Pain, Big Rubber Guy. Right now, MajorBendies.com. If you want to advertise your product or service, hit us up, MajorPodcast at gmail.com. What not every Monday. Brian and I took this Monday off, but we'll be back next Monday. Smart mm. Mark. If you're yeah, listening big- early and ad free this Thursday, special What Not Con, we're all going. What, what, what time are you doing, What Not Con? Um, I think I just made it for. 7.45. Okay, mine's at 6 o'clock. I got some cool stuff up there. If you're listening early uh, on WhatNot, check it out, the WhatNot Con. Um, major Rewind with Jay George. Take a trip down memory lane every single two weeks. Every single two weeks. Take a little trip down memory lane. Jay George does a great job. And for plugs this weekend, I only have one booking this weekend. I need to fucking relax. Where I need to going? get my, my body in check, my mind in check. I'm going to Houston, Texas, sucker. For the reality of wrestling, oh, wow. I'm trying to impress Booker T. Maybe he'll get me into old NXT. Who knows? Beat but I'll be a supermarket if you're trying to impress him. I might, maybe we'll go do a supermarket sweep before I go to the reality of wrestling. Sucker! I am completely off like a civilian, and I cannot wait. And hey, Mark, uh, I just looked it up. Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> is a live collusion. We're back to being live, pal. Uh, co- collision is Cincinnati, Ohio. Ring of Honor. After that, that's what I will. That's where I will be. Wow. Well, very very cool, guys. Well, what a week! Ooh. WrestleMania recall week. A lot of news. D Freedom. Thank you for letting us know all that stuff because I would have been like, "Well, there's a Ray. Good lord. <laughs> there's a Finn. That was so, more than I, I ever even thought. And I was that was it. That was like more than they almost showed a comic. I was nuts. Yeah. Mattel showed some great, great stuff. Um, they're, they're just, they're just killing it. So hopefully AEW steps up a little bit. Sorry, Mark. You know. <laughs> yeah, let's see some more figs. Let's they see some more show. figs. I maybe. love AEW uh, figure announcements. No, the, when the pro, it's like a zombie thing. When they come, they're great. But we that's just right. Never know. Yep. All right, guys. Well, see you next week. What a show! We're out of show. <laughs> Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... (laughs) Oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with a captain's log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a Major Mark and join MajorMarks.com today.